What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Snake Pet. This is episode 256. My guest today is Guap Didham. He's a young entrepreneur here in Lubbock, Texas. He does great work, great shoes, clothes, the whole works. I'm sure you guys have heard of him. And he, you know, he's he's growing, he's big, and uh, we had a really good time talking to him today. So if you want to support him, you can check him, you know, hit him up or get his get on his website and uh, buy some of the things he makes. Man, it's awesome. So shout out to the boy for coming on. We had a really good time. If you're uh, new to the podcast or if you haven't done it already, would you please hit that subscribe button? It's free and it's an easy way to support us here. If you listen to us on Spotify and uh, Apple Podcasts, you can give us a review. You know, get us some interaction, share, all free ways to support us. Also, we're on Patreon, patreon.com slash snakepitstudios. You can hit that $1 tier for Conversation Pit and help support us that way. We have more merch coming out. Lords of Film is doing their thing. And um, all around, we're working, man. So I hope you guys enjoy this episode. And thank you. Here we go. Last time I saw Jim, last time I was on here, I was high. I don't even remember the last time you were on here. I, I, was, I was nervous as hell. Jen was pissed off at you. I was like, <laughs> we didn't know who you were. Well, because point. we had a string of people being late, but you were late, and I, I was know. just like, I do remember you were forty five minutes late. I was all trying to convince Roy. I was like, close the garage, just close the garage. <laughs> and like Roy was like, we can't do that, and I was like, I would. I'm just I'll saying. Pa- I, made up, I, made, I made up for this time though. No, I was just glad you I remembered. Was, and then early. you ended up being cool as fuck. You know yeah, what we, I mean? I was early and I brought beer. It was a good episode. It was a really good yeah, episode. Crazy. We really didn't know who you were in that point. Strangers. Yeah. I don't even remember right. how we linked up. This is the problem with all the, <coughs> everything I do. I don't remember shit. That's I'm the like, best thing, though. You don't know, like, for instance, like, you just like, damn, it's kind of skeptical at first. And then you meet them, it's like, damn, another person. Yeah, it's just a problem that I'm always fucked up and <laughs> that shit, you know? So I got It happens, man. though, but you, you build, a, like, a, a high level of... Uh, don't knowing how to like study people and who they really are, you don't see all that bullshit. Yes, sir. I'll say this about you: you, you are. It's always a pleasure to see you out. You're, oh, you're, I, mean, I feel too. like I haven't seen you out that much. So you're always working. Yeah, I've been trying Maybe to slow down on that. That's just beneficial. Me too. Just staying at I home. I just say that, but sometimes you gotta get selfish. It's a level of okay. life. Fuck it. Man. That's why you are where you are. So how's it been going? Guap did him. Texas Migo in the house. Ah. <laughs> What's going on, brother? It's been lovely, man. How's life? How's work? It's been live, bro, honestly. Crazy how things just everything how everything rolls out. Without even you planning it. Like sometimes you'll plan things but then other shit happens and then you just gotta go from there. Did you have a plan when you started all this? Oh hell no. What was the idea behind it? Just honestly just making stuff, honestly, if I'm being hundred percent honest. But now, like, as I get older, though, it, it turns, like, into a business structure. And now it's, like, mapping things out and, like, having to meet a certain quota and having to deal with, like, customers. Well, you're dealing with high volumes of money now. So you kind of have to, huh? That's if you want to stay in business, yeah. Yeah, you got to. Yeah. Yeah, that's, the, that's, that part of it is pretty dope. It's just knowing, like, how to manage your money and where to put it at in all the right places. Because mm-hmm. the faster it comes, it, comes, it goes even faster. But it's also, like, with <clears throat> charging, like, at that ticket price, you know what I mean? For, like, these pieces, it's, like, the level of, like, quality and dedication you have to put into it. Like, it has to be, like, consistent every single time. You know what oh, I yeah. mean? It kind of sucks, though, because me personally, if I could, and I, if I could, I would be, it'd be way cheaper. Yeah. I, want, I want more people to have it. I wish I could have it cheaper, but... You know what I'm saying? I gotta pay bills and stuff and invest. You gotta profit well, off of I it. didn't know you were actually like so. Like for instance, the shoe you had to buy the shoe yourself. Yeah, I, buy, I didn't I, know that. Yeah, I buy I thought... the shoe myself. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I think they I'm not making the whole price that you see. It's just included into it. That makes more sense. But if I could have stuff cheaper, which is what I'm working on, it's gonna be it's just for me. People, more people to have it. Do you see yourself doing like full scale shit? Like a factory almost? Uh, Maybe not like that size. If but... I had a factory, I would want an in house factory. Something like that. I would start off. Like Humble Hustle. I would, I would start off uh, from like factories I don't know. But I would like to put other people, I would like to put money in people's pockets that I know. So I would like to ha- like get people on board that are uh, uh, dedicated to certain things so they can elevate too and they'll move into a different direction as well. But this, you know what I'm saying? Like, the best thing you get out of overseas stuff is the price. It's just cheaper. 
That's why a lot of people do that shit. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's why I would go overseas. But, like, for instance, to make an affordable product and have somebody else work and make, make it that you know, be dope. But I feel like that's why I just got to tune into the younger people. There's this guy I know. He makes a shout-out to Jocko Willink, if you know who that is. He has his own, like, brand of clothing, but they make everything here. In Lubbock? Oh, in America. In America? Like, everything's made here. Everything, the, All of the materials, everything. They even put it on your clothing, like, that's badass, like, made in, made in the U.S. But the price reflects it. I'll say that. Oh, yeah. You, you can tell, like, You definitely oh, had to pay the penny for it. Yeah, but it's cool. I mean, I don't know. Shout-out to you for doing this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, it'd be doper to have cheaper products, which is what I'm working on, though. Because I like to go places and just run into somebody that has the shit. I don't even, they don't even know where they got it from. Well, you don't... I understand what you're saying, but you don't like the fact that your shit is being worn by fucking top dogs, you know what I mean? Like, celebrities. I mean, it's dope, but yeah, honestly, like, I'd like to go somewhere that I go normally and just have someone randomly have it on. Like here? Yeah. Okay. It'd I mean, be dope yeah. as hell, you know what I'm saying? I get it, yeah. But that, that's, that's still a blessing, having those type of people wear that stuff. How did that happen? Who was kind of the first person to... So shout out to uh, the big uh, dark hole itself, social media. It just... <laughs> yeah, that's it. Honestly, they bro. just found you like that? There's Damn. that guy from Spider-Man. That's who I was thinking of right off the bat. <laughs> Can you give me a beer, please, by the way? Yeah. It's crazy. He did that photo shoot himself with his photographer. It was on like some magazine. It was like in some newsletter or some shit. So did you know it was him purchasing it? Yeah. Like, I talked to I talked to everybody personally. Oh, shit. Except for, like they ordered like on my website. Like back then, I, was, I didn't have a website. So I was just doing like personal orders and like through like DMs. Yeah, it was just straight clicking DMs. Damn, that's cool. Cool dude though. My sister, she likes Spider Man. So she got live when she saw it. I was like, <laughs> went to my mom's house one day. She's like, I showed her. I was like, guess who? Guess who got a shoot for me? So I'm like, oh, no way. How'd you feel when Michael is it Raptor? Rappaport? Rap Rap? Yeah, whatever. Uh, <laughs> uh, what's it called? How did I feel when he shouts you out? Oh, but that's kind of unreal. His bitch ass. Because he that's was, cool. he that's was cool talking though. about. Was it Balenciaga he was talking about? No, nah, he was talking. He was trying to get into the. Uh, it was in New York. He was trying to get into the. Uh, well, I forgot the name. I'm blank on it. Is it Meta something? Yeah, the Met. Uh, Met Gala. Met Gala. Met Gala. Yeah. Met Gala. yeah. Oh yeah, because he said this, right he said this time. should be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what fashion is. Yeah, it was dope because I grew up watching movies with him and stuff like yeah. fucking Friday. <laughs> Friday. Um, what is that? The one with the Ice Cube, uh, High Learning. I remember watching like his little bros in that hoe. I was like, that's wild. Yeah, and, like, oh, yeah, the, like the person he talked to them. I'm saying something. So you talked to him? Yeah, oh, it's just like unreal. Did he buy something for you? Yeah. Oh, he bought those, huh? Yeah. Damn. Shout out to Michael Rappaport, man. Shows a lot of love. Yeah, we were talking about it. Why isn't like New York, or is New York somewhere you would live? Uh, temporarily. I'd like, like to go in there and uh, handle business. I feel know. like you fit in perfect over there. Oh, yeah. I, I fit in perfect, but at the end of the day, you get what I'm saying? Texas is where the fam's at. Mm-hmm. You gotta love Straight Texas. Up, really? I don't wanna, I'm gonna die and I'm gonna die and get buried in Texas. I'm so excited to show you guys in a w- few weeks my my new Texas tattoo. I'm gonna get for real. Hell yeah, dude! You gotta post it. Texas, my Texas man. I love this fucking place. Shout yeah. out to the Rangers. Thanks. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, dude. Same. But then again, like New York's a crazy place. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Definitely for fashion and all that opportunity. What's it like over there? What's it like working over there? Uh, mad busy. Always mad busy. Different, hella like people everywhere. Different it's insane all- to think how small you are, really. Especially there, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Especially like you're on the subway. Like, <clears throat> I get on the subway and just look around, like, damn, all these people just got off work. Someone might have lost somebody today. Like, just different you're lives. Seeing everybody's emotions, and like, some people, just, one lady was crying on there. Someone dude was <laughs> happy. Some guy was drunk. <laughs> I was like, bruh, these people go through so much. And like, here, we're so stuck in our cars and like just going and doing our thing and going home. We don't see, we don't interact with too many people. That is the one shitty thing about here. You don't interact. If you interact with people, it's pretty much the same people. Yeah, the same people. But over there, it's like you don't meet anybody. Random people. Off of just how you're dressed or what you're going through or just a random conversation. Dude, yeah, I need to make my way out there. So, how did you get involved in that pop up back in, was it uh, Fashion Week? Yeah. How'd you get involved in that? <coughs> so, uh, me and my friend, me and my friend Porter, uh, you used to the hat drop. Yeah, we did. The, I did the hat drop with him, but he had a homie that was a uh, he had a pop up. He had a, a New York Fashion Week pop up, mm-hmm. and uh, I was going to we're do the hat. We're supposed to do the hat drop there, 
But then some stuff got delayed, and we weren't able to. We didn't. We weren't able to do the hat drop there. But like he took some of his stuff, and I took my stuff, and we just posted up there. Mm-hmm. It was some stuff happened, and I ended up just dipping out. Damn. Yeah, it was dope though. I think mm-hmm. that was probably the best thing that happened to me. Did you like get to like network a lot and like, oh, yeah, meet yeah, a lot yeah. of people? So I had like a rack, and we just like we just we was like me, Joe, and the homie JJ. We just like grabbed the rack and just like walking through all the streets. We went to Chinatown, Soho. Oh yeah. It nice. was crazy. We would just post. We would stop and post up, and people would ask. And were, you, were care- you just like selling shit like off the rack? Like, yeah, yeah, just like street hustling. Yeah, it was Earth. dope. And like you would meet people, like they would like it. I don't even care if they didn't buy it. Just I'm saying, it's like follow me, my boss, yeah. another day. Yeah, like know my name, know my name. This yep. is who I am. Yeah, I'm, I tell them I'm from Texas. I'm not even from here, bro. <laughs> and some yeah. they'll respect it. Like, damn, you came all the way from here. It's crazy. I met some people from Texas. They were from Dallas. I met them. Uh, it was raining though. They were trying to buy some pants, but he couldn't try them on because it was raining and shit. Mm-hmm. But they're from Dallas. Damn. I was like, damn, that's crazy. Small world. Shout out to Dallas, man. Shout out to Dallas. What's the story behind this hat, dude? Tell me about it. This one? What is it? Is it all stacked or is it individual hats? It's individual. <laughs> I was wondering. I was like, what? The what? Fuck? I thought it was. I, I really thought I was like, is this Jesus. mother? Did these motherfuckers just sell a fucking stacked hat? Like one that? hat? Yeah, for real. I can understand. Well, I, I don't Look what it says. One kilogram weighted hat. I thought it was a whole fucking hat. My bad. I don't blame you for thinking that because there's no pictures of single pictures of her of just one hat on them. Thank you. I don't. I don't blame you. You know what I'm saying? Twenty made one kilogram weighted hat. Oh, I thought it was. Whole, I was like, damn, what, what the fuck? <laughs> There's just one hat. Yeah, they're all different ones, but just the photos that they took, it was they stacked them on top. Hey, you guys did a bad job. How about that? No, I'm just kidding. But fuck, I was like, what the fuck? I was excited to talk about it because I thought this was something new. I was like, oh, cool. Shout out to With the one hat. <laughs> it could be something now. I don't, know. I don't know. I don't blame you for thinking that, though. This is the funniest shit ever. <laughs> Have y'all seen this? Yeah. <laughs> oh, the big NFL hats? Yeah. There's a guy in Barso who wears a big hat like that. <laughs> I saw a guy on TikTok that started those. See? I was in on the rock. <laughs> Fuck. So y'all made 20 of those. Yeah, I made Individually. 20 of them. Yeah. Wow. So how did y'all do that? Yeah. What, what, was, were y'all just like sending it to each other? Yeah, so first off, he, he bought the hat. He personally does like hats and stuff. He does like uh, custom hats and he has his own branded hats. And so he knows how to purchase all the hats. And so he just purchased the hats. We went half on them, and he sent them to me. And I put all the patchwork on it and the stitching. And I sent them back to him. And all, he lives in Austin. He's from the UK, oh, though. Oh, okay. He's from London. And uh, I sent it back to him, and then he put his embroidery. And the, and then after that was it. Nice. We were supposed to launch those in New York, but shit happens. Did you already sell up? Not yet. There's a little ticket on it, man, but... See, I saw the price, too, and I was like, damn, okay, makes sense. Yeah. That big hat is worth that much money. <laughs> my, my bad. No, it's just, it's just one. <laughs> clip it, clip it. It does, like, one hat. <laughs> yeah, that was it, though. But all those are, like, just like the shoes. Different. Yeah. He was scrolling through your Instagram. Now I remember doing the podcast with you because we were talking about that big tapestry you cut into. Oh, the, mm-hmm. for, this, for the thing? Yes, yeah. I remember that now. That's hella but, old. Yeah, it is. That's hella old. I remember this now. Because we were like, no. Mm-hmm. Nar. Nar. Yeah, well, so what, are you, what, are you getting, what inspires you to do this? Like, Is there like anything in particular? Uh, like just, any, any any artist? Any sort does he keep making stuff? No, like the style that you're doing. Oh, why patchwork? Yeah, there you go. Um, I'm kind of just like going off of the shoes. and like, like putting it in my own way. Like for instance, the jeans. Like all the stud work and stuff. Mm-hmm. Just like kind of just trying out different shit. It is, it's way different from like all the other crazy colors I put on because it's just straight jeans. Did you construct the jeans yourself too? I wish. No. No, I got a major deal on some Wranglers. Okay, that's what I was. I was like, those look like. But there's some badass Wranglers though. Yeah. The, the starch on them is crazy. So I just got a deal on them and uh, added all the uh, patchwork and studs, and I uh, um, uh, flared them out. Yeah, yeah I flared them out. I like how they fit though. They're like a uh, firm on top and then like f- flare down the bottom. It's like a really narrow. I sold all of them, but one pair. I only took like only took ten though. It was like flying with all that shit. Oh, man, I was gonna long. ship it, bro, but I was kind of it was risky, so I was like, I'm better off just paying for an extra luggage because it's gonna be with me. 
It wasn't bad. I was only paid like 70 bucks for extra luggage. That's not bad. Compared to mm-hmm. shipping, those pants were heavy as hell. I would have paid like fucking a hundred plus, bro. Damn. And I don't even know if it'll make it on time. There might be a delay. So I just I paid for the extra suitcase. Mad pack when we had to travel back though. Where that was a cool last time. Shout out Ghetto Friends. Shout out them. This is their shirt. El Chapo. <laughs> I got a problem with that shirt. <laughs> it's just, to me it's just badass. <laughs> But yeah, I don't know. Uh, they had low riser and everything. Mm-hmm. That was the second day. That this was, is in New York. They had low Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. That's what my dad was saying. He was surprised. No, I, don't, I didn't know they had them out there. But those was the the ones with me, like outside with the pants. That was the first day. And the second day was the shout out mace. The uh, second day with the low riders. That was the second day was with the low riders and stuff. It's crazy. Like they just. Uh, I didn't even plan popping up over there. I posted up right next to their pop up. Their stuff was jumping all day. Was it Mexicans or Puerto Ricans? Mexicans. But it was dope, though, because that's time I went to New York. That's who I was got connected with. The homie Enrique, he was friends with them, and they plugged me in. So, like, when I first time I went, it was just, like, a break in the ice, getting to know them. And second time I came, it was nothing but love. And they just let me post stuff for free with them right next to their stuff. I even I made, <clears throat> sold a couple of things. But they did their thing, though, bro. They was jumping all day. Were they drinking? Party? Oh, yeah. It was, bro, it was a party, like, from the not, from 11 to, was it 12? And then all the way from to like ten, <clears throat> it was yeah. constant people, That's hella characters. It was wild. That's probably my most funnest day there. I know we could never have something like that out here, but that'd be so fun. It gets shut down quick, huh? Why? Well, I just don't know if people would show up. Oh, right, they'd show up, bro. You think? I promise you, if you tend to the right crowd, I guess you would be shut down because you couldn't just do it on a block. They'd be something. The cops would be there quick. Yeah. Well, you would have to like actually <clears throat> do it legally, like a permit and shit. Yeah, but a block party is very doable if you just do it the right way. Yeah. yeah. Like, it legally, works. and then that do your own shit. Yeah. Like, for instance, the first day we got there, <clears throat> one of their homegirls, her name was, uh, I forgot her name, it's called Powda, and she has her own brand, and uh, one of the homies sent me their pop-up, and, like, it was we got there late, so it was at, at night, they had the whole road blocked off, and they were, uh, they had low riders there, they were just, like, the whole, it was, it was kind of like a movie. I was like, damn, this is crazy. Being all my friends are tripped out. I was like, bro, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. It was like they had they had the things broke out. They had the people jumping. They had uh, another event right next to it. You know, there's one thing I normally don't care about, like tapping into different things and styles and cultures. Uh-huh. But there's one thing I would feel fraud to do, but I'm gonna do if I have money, is buy a lowrider. Buy a lowrider. I want a fucking lowrider. My yeah. uncle's in that shit up there in Did Phoenix. You get an Impala. Yes, I would. That's exactly <laughs> what I would get. get or, a cu- or a Buick Regal. I get a cutlass. Those are nice too. And I would want it maroon with gold rims. My dream yeah, let me car. Cut that out. When, my dream car when <laughs> I get fuck you money. I posted it yesterday, but I want a pearl a pearl white El Camino and I want to slap some long horns on the front. Damn, JBL. I also do want a <laughs> I also do want an El Camino. That's too. my that is my dream fuck you money car. El, El Camino's are sweet. Mm-hmm. I want one of those. Yeah. I want a black one. My dad black used to one. have one when I was little and he's take me cruising in it. I can't get into them. I don't know why. God, God, they're so El sweet. Caminos. I just can't well, get can into you, them. Can you can you pick beautiful. up a Waylon Jennings car cuz he has horns on his car, doesn't he? You know what I'm talking about? That, that yeah, car? fucking Longhorns in the front of a car just Wayland, so hard. Waylon Jennings just screams Texas. Yeah, Waylon Jennings yeah. vehicle has like, or even like on fr- like in front of like a single cab like Silverado, like those old ass ones. So be a fucking car. hard. And then he has yeah. like guns and pennies all up in the dashboard. It's really cool. Isn't I can't think of what it was, what vehicle it was, but those old school cars are cool as fuck. Yeah, yeah. I would. That's love one of my goals is to have an old school. I want a low rider so bad, dude. I don't go nowhere. So if I, I had an old school, I'd just have a little post office and shit. <laughs> Store. <laughs> and just have the other car in the garage for traveling. You can pull up to Beer House. In the old school. There you go, man. Mm. The Cutlass. That place hates us now. Monte Carlo's are hard, too. Mm-hmm. I, I got Those t- older ones? Yeah, I got turned on to them after seeing Training Day. Yes. They had a badass Monte Carlo. Yes. I was like, God damn, that motherfucker's bad. Those older boxy uh, BMWs are pretty sweet, too. Can't go wrong with those. Oh. By the time I get them, hopefully they're not fucking a hundred thousand though. It probably already is. There's a guy here who has one of those That's like that. Hard. There's a guy here who has <laughs> those that, are so fucking hard. That exact one. You no, know, it's not a badass car. The five point the um, the, uh, what are they called um, the Ford five point uh Mustangs. Oh, fuck, I'm botching this whole thing. 
They're badass though. Uh, the homie, like, he, the dude in there, June has one. They're fucking badass. It's like a drop top, uh, the peanut butter top. What's uh, that? Two door. He's a rapper. I don't know. There's a guy here who has a Firebird. He's pretty goddamn sweet too. Yeah, I'm like thinking about no these old cars. So. There's a lot of old cars that come through here because, like, my dad's connected with all these car guys. Uh, like the <clears throat> the Camaro <clears throat> that's in 21 Jump Street. That oh, yeah. that was that was owned by someone here. Like the old oh, 21 Jump Street. The one that's in 21 like Jump? the the first movie, the the silver Camaro with Johnny Depp. No, with the uh, Channing Tatum. The, that car oh. from Lubbock. Uh, yeah, someone in Lubbock owned oh, it. And then a lot of cars from Fast and Furious get bought here, too. Um, what? Bradley. Yeah. With the knowledge. Throw this out of the trivia, bro. <laughs> Damn. Damn, they're just buying these cars from Juggalos. It's going to be a question. Nah, old well, well, white men from like, well, the old white men have these cars. No, I'm talking about like, these like, like Tokyo drift-ass cars. Like They're just buying it from well, like, the Juggalos. Behind uh, Movie 16, there's a dealership. Classic cars. Classic cars. Well, they had their own reality show at one time. Uh, called Car Chasers, and uh, they would just go around. Are you and, fucking serious? Yeah. They were on that show? Yeah. Holy shit. It was yeah, their show. Here. Yeah, it was their show. What the fuck? I did not know that. Well, yeah. How long ago was this? This was probably like 2012. Was this on Discovery? It was on NS, is it MSNBC? No. Damn, I, I don't, don't know, know that. News. I've heard of Car Chasers, too. Yeah, this was in Little Or them? CNBC, yeah. No way. Yeah. That's the owner of classic right there. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Yeah, what the hell? But yeah, get him on the own. pod. Facts. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Let's yeah. get this motherfucker in the pod. But they, they ended up getting canceled because uh that's when <laughs> he Jay said the N-word? No. <laughs> oh. That's when Jay Leno retired. He ain't coming now. That's when Jay Leno retired from the Tonight Show, oh, and he then he cars. started his own show. Oh, got, so that blew that, he's got that blew that one out of the water. Of fuck. He's got God millions of dollars Leno. with the cars. Yeah. He's gonna die in a Cadillac or something. He almost died, didn't he? He got burned in that motherfucker. Didn't he? <laughs> he did, huh? I think so. Remember that. What is that one? What do you think, what do you think, what do you think makes him just like keep buying cars? Just like just kinda like they move from like the hot wheel in their room to the the fucking well, physical car in their garage. You know the way we've just been talking about it? They do that, but they got the money to buy it, so they just probably just fucking, fucking uh, buy it. And they appreciate in value, so you can make money if you buy it. You know what I mean? It doesn't <coughs> It, it just gets more and more expensive. You must have someone that, that ever, like, every, like, two months probably drives all of them. He has a full team of people that work for him that, ma- for his that maintain his cars and build shit for his cars. Ooh, ooh, what that money make a motherfucker do. You know what What's I want? Ideas? I want a fucking cyber truck. A cyber truck? Have you seen those? I just watched the podcast. Did you see where he shot their here. fucking arrow in there? It almost went through. It, I don't, it, it did it. It did it. It almost went through. Did you see that? Mm-hmm. That was cool. David Blaine. Was no, seen? that was Elon. Oh. Sorry. Yeah. Those remind me of the Paul Stanley Adidas. Yeah. Do you have you seen those? Mm-mm. You should Google them. I th- I think they're they're Adidas. I like you on those. I got inspired by the Wells Bonners, the ones you posted. Dude, yeah. those are so fucking sick. I started looking into them. He's been going crazy. They the even have some. Flat. They have you seen oh, the cool. the leopard print ones? Yeah, those look like the those are the Paul Stanley Pumas. Pumas. I don't know why. Those those ones that you made, I, I those Adidas. Never heard of those. Before. Gave me those vibes. I was kind of I was kind of shit faced whenever you posted it because I had uh, <laughs> I've been buying cow print to just uh, fuck around with every once in a while, and those came out. I was like, fuck. Damn. No, I started looking into them after I shared it, and I was like, those are beautiful. Yeah, he's been he's been doing. He's got a real, he's designs. got a lot of really cool color variants. My favorite ones are the all silver ones. They're like silver bullets. I've seen those. I saw the leopard ones that are also kind of have like that. That faux fur or that faux pony hair or whatever. Nah, dude, you need a real zebra. Oh, and there's also another one that skin. it's almost <laughs> like ass, it's got this like clayish red tone. It's really pretty. It's crazy when they're in COVID. That was the number one thing that was selling shoes. Really? That's my mom. She tells me that all the time. So, you know, during COVID, the only thing that was selling was shoes. Really? That's weird. People huh. had all their like stimulus and stuff just everywhere? buying shoes. Was you like in general? I don't know what she told me. Uh. Unless she's just doing false lies. <laughs> Misinformation, <laughs> Jesus. Nah, moms. <laughs> Goddamn. Uh, full disclosure, I already told Jen this, but I tried to buy her the corn Adidas collab they did last week. What happened? I forgot. <laughs> oh, I, and then, so it was already like 12 o'clock. At, it, was, it was already lunchtime, and I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Sold out everything. 
I was gonna buy those. it. I wanted the fucking tracksuit too, though. I was like, God damn, this is. Oh, uh, dude, look at g- Google that fucking glittery tracksuit. It had a badass rollout. It was like in the those cases that you roll the instruments in. Yes, it was I saw that. I was like, fuck. Is it the corn? Yeah. Yes, John and Dave. Dude, they were selling that. Why did it take so long for that collab though? Okay, I don't, so That's what I was wondering. So Jonathan Davis always used to rep Adidas. Well, he he always has repped Adidas. Try to get a collab with him when Corn was like hot and huge. Adidas turned him down, like in like an official oh, letter. About and then now that they've like let that like new middle is like back or whatever, Adidas reached out for a collaboration. They need to make their money. They're number one breadwinners in Dunskis. They ate their words. Kanye. Yeah, he's and out. now Corn made like a- more money. Dude, that's, that's so sweet. He, I think he wore. No, did he? I would have worn the we fuck out of those pants. I just want you to know. When we saw him in Vegas, huh? When you saw him in Vegas, he yeah, went? he was wearing the purple. He was yeah. wearing those. Uh huh. They all were wearing the. Their out. Yeah. That's badass. They're on tour now or what? Them. No, we saw them back in May oh, okay. in Vegas. That was the best. <sighs> you ever been out there? Vegas? No, I want to go with the bag. That's I don't. I'm only gonna go if I go with the bag. I'm gonna gamble. I, 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 that's why I don't want to because <laughs> I'll blow that shit. I don't know how to gamble. I barely spent like fifty bucks on gambling. Stick to the slots. That's what I was playing. <laughs> you win I, anything? I had my fear and loathing experience out there. You win no. anything? Fuck no. I was Damn. fucked up trying to see. I was like, hey, who knows? If you go back, you might win a big pot. And you took your arrow the first time. You know what sucked is that either like right when we were there or like a few days after, I saw a TikTok. Of a guy who just said fuck it and went to the high roller slot, put his last money in and went and won big. And I was like, while he was oh. recording, yeah, I was like, Dude, God's plan, God damn it. Mm. Right as we were there, I was like, motherfucker, I'm no good at gambling. What'd you do if you would have hit? What would you have done with all that money? I would have bought an escort. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, I would have took Jen out to a nice dinner. <laughs> I doubt it. I would have. <laughs> <I, I, laughs> or, or, would would or would you have been like, I didn't win anything. <laughs> Fuck out of here. No. You really think I would do that? I don't know. I would have took us to eat, maybe. Anything you want, Jen? I'd be on like, me. let's go to fucking LA from Damn. here. Because she had a whole week off. Mm-hmm. So I was like, we could have gone to LA. Or I have another week Phoenix. off when we go again. Oh, yeah. I'd be live. I'll be at Windstar this weekend. For real? Yeah. Oh, shit. What are you going to do out there? On my uh, birthday. I'm going to go see Leon Bridges in concert. Oh, in Oklahoma? Yeah. Yeah, we wanted to go, me, Joe, Mace, and uh, we wanted to go to the concert. Oh, really? Damn. Yeah, I'm going with my brother. <laughs> so he he lives in Denton. It's like 40 minutes away. So I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. That's going to be a badass concert. Hell yeah. I saw him. Who, Shanksir? Yeah. On Bridges. Oh, you're talking, oh, you talking about your brother? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we uh, I saw him in 2016 <laughs> at Stubbs Barbecue in Austin. That's when he was like first like starting out. How was that? It was badass. Hell yeah. Yeah. Um, but now, the last time we went to Windstar, someone that we knew walked up to the slot machine, just put a dollar in and won $2,000. Then yeah. he stopped the rest of the night. I would have stopped too. He said, if I if I spend any of this, I'm going to end up losing it all. So he. Nah, I probably would have spent like 1000 Yeah. Of that winnings. Mm-hmm. Fuck it. My winnings. They say if you, if you have that much of a, a win, like just stop because you're not going to. Win that ever again. In my head, girl math is like, it's free money. Fuck it. <laughs> it didn't exist five minutes ago. Yeah. I've, heard like, that, I've heard that those casinos will try to like riz you get up. Get their money back. They'll try to like liquor you up yeah. and, and say, come on over here. Well, yeah, because it's like once you're city- seated, you get free drinks. Yeah, and like start, they're constantly giving you refills. Let's start you, you know what they too. fill the, the casinos with? Uh, they, they, they have oxygen ch- uh, tanks and they, they like whatever, run it through the the casinos so you don't get tired. Dude, there was a guy yeah. there was a guy in Rogan talking and there's about no like, windows. the science mm-hmm. behind it. Mm-hmm. There's no clocks. Like the the whole they have it done. That's they have like see, a whole yeah. research facility dedicated to like I watched that shit. That was yeah, weird. I was like, was what wild. the fuck? I didn't know. It makes sense. It's like it comes from something primal. One thing I don't understand, I watched this movie with Matt Damon. It was about uh um it was there were uh poker games. And some of the poker games would be like 16 hours long. I'm like, how do they play that long with just playing poker in the back the room? The gambling addiction, brother, is, is a motherfucker. Yeah. It might be the worst. They're they probably the coked worst. out of their fucking They're probably minds. coked to the max. 16 yeah. coked, hours coked is Coked to long. the gills, brother. Matt Damon's real into that because the at Fremont Street, the Golden Nugget. I love he's Fremont no, Street. He's, he's, he's known. Fremont's sick. He's oh, yeah. known for always so hanging bright. there. Yeah, and they, they bet 
I think big, Fremont's, big cool. money. Fremont's cooler than the actual strip, I think. Yeah. It it's was too like corporate. it was the Vegas I liked. I never been I to wanted the, to see. I never been to the That's right. Yeah, it was my first time ever standing foot in one. It was cool. They kind of feel a little dirty, but it's, 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 <laughs> it's, like, oh, it's, <laughs> it's ridiculous the amount of money. Yeah. Like we didn't I, I remember like I would be walking to the gym in our resort at like seven in the morning and people were like gambling around dressed like, the nines. they were still out like in their party clothes. It's twenty four seven there? Like uh-huh. the, oh, yeah. the, the, the Oh, it's all twenty four seven. Holy fuck. I remember I got nothing over. ever shuts down. What a death trap. Drinking. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It kind of feels a little dirty, but you're like, okay. You could probably get it. You could find some disgusting things there, probably, if you look mm-hmm. for it. Well, if you mind your business, you're fine. I'd be out there at seven in the morning taking my morning smoke, and people are barely coming home. Or and like Jim they're was still like, walking. I don't out. know if I can smoke here, and everybody was smoking. The whole fucking place smells like weed. Well, because <laughs> I, I looked into the laws, and I saw that you could carry, but you couldn't smoke openly. That's the law everywhere, though. But everybody, yeah, yeah you're no. not supposed to. I realized that. We I wouldn't do it. I was like openly it. smoking all over LA, like, whoa, 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 like grocery shopping, <laughs> like, like just like yes. That's how it was in New York. Oh, uh, well, in like New York, it like for real, for real is like everybody's just lighting up. Yeah, God, that's my dream. <laughs> I love guap. It is a beautiful privilege to take a walk and smoke at the same time. That's how I feel about drinking. Without, to literally like without getting fucked with. Yes, and like not feeling like, you know, like who's there? Well, after our you law passes, I mean? thanks to this podcast, and you can, might be able to do that here. God, one day. If that gets legal in Texas, oh man, I'm going to buy a dispensary. Everyone's moving over here. It'll be decriminalized here in May. Think so? It's going to go to vote, and people are going to vote. Voting. I don't know. That was money that's going to bring They did it with liquor, so that's why I believe they'll do it with the weed. But that was money that's going to bring to Texas? Oh I don't know gosh. if it's going to be right on by Mexico. Ballot, though. It's a well, hold on, it's a win win because if city council passes it, it doesn't have to go on the ballot, but they're not gonna. So when they don't pass it, then it goes to general election. Oh, okay. So, so it's a win win. The fact that they got the signatures, it's win win. It's just whether it's gonna happen now or in May. The thing is, they just have to advertise it and let people know people about it. People have to vote. Podcast wife had him back on yeah. before then. This guy, uh, one of the customers I had, he owns a dispensary. I have a couple people in LA. <clears throat> like, it was like. He always posts like mad weed in his house, like it's normal. Like he's a uh, trapping normally. It should be. <laughs> and like I'm like, what the hell? He... I don't even smoke, and it should be. Should be too. Should be. People drink and mushrooms. Oh man, they're still hella strict on. <sighs> yeah. I saw this. Uh, I was watching 60 Minutes, and it's in California. How all these people that own dispensaries, they make more money in the black market still, because with Tax. the government, you still where taxes, you still have to pay so much. But they only allow you to grow so much of it, so they go out still scoping like um, like satellites and see who's growing more than what they're reporting. So they they're still pretty hardcore about all that. It was your back door. That's fair. Yeah, I'll say that. That's fair. If they're gonna legalize it, that's fair. Mm -hmm. Play by the rules. But they're saying that stopping nobody. Even exactly, the, it's not gonna stop anybody. But supposedly, even the states that are legalized, the black market is still making more money. It's just tourists. Than the, yeah, the tourists yeah. the ones that make the money, or where they make their money. Well, they do. They do, they do that because they sell to other states that aren't legal. They get all their weed there and just go somewhere else. I think they get all their weed in Oklahoma from here. Think so? All that Delta Eight shit that they say is Delta. 8. I think well, they get it. I couldn't tell you. I don't smoke. Me either, man. I don't know. I wonder how they detect all that, though. It's expensive. They don't. Scientists. Yeah, they're not going to spend the money to do it. It hmm. takes a long time to do it. So it's like oh, they're bullshit. spending... It's basically legal, though. That's what I mean. You say it's Delta 8. Yeah. Facts, huh? Yeah. How are they going to test it? They would if they're being assholes, but it takes forever. If you could put over just weed, I was a cop, I'd just, just smash it out. Just because yeah. I got a body cam on, just smash it out. I'm not going to take you to jail. We gotta get a cop on here. Oh man, that's a good one. I've been trying. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what's your definition of good? I don't know. What? Oh man, I gotta pee. I will do that in a minute. What's your like dream collab? Like, what? You, if if a company gave you an option to do something, what would you do? Uh, like a big corporation. Whoever. Um. Honestly, I would like to. I would like to, instead of a big a big corporation would be a boost in business. But I would like to collab with more creative people that start their own business, such as Get a Rodeo, people like that. You know what I'm saying? Get a Rodeo, 
They're uh, doing great. People just like me to have a bigger scale of business because they're the masters of the people, of regular people like us. Because after a while, I feel like, I watched the thing earlier, it was kind of like big corporations are kind of like falling down. Maybe they hold their name because they're history. But at the end of the day, regular people like us that come up and have their own business and they're successful, more people are going to fuck with them than Good. someone they don't even fucking know. Like, damn, I went to high school with him. And they put their mm-hmm. people on, they put their high people on, just like a fucking years and years of I went to high school with that person that made that. I think we're seeing that. I, like, I feel like for the longest time, um, people were aspiring to, like, be able to, like, afford these, like, big, like, fashion house brands. Um, but I feel like now people are more inspired by, like, community-based things or, like, more, like, passion projects. You know what I mean? Like, like Ghetto Roadie or Ghetto Friends and, you know, yeah. stuff like that. And it's, like... I think the biggest example of that right now is, like, Born Raised. You know what I mean? Like, Sponto was, like, a in L.A. or whatever, was, like, a local name through the neighborhoods. And that's how he, be, he, how he networked so much through California and created this huge conglomerate of a local brand that has all these collabs with things like Levi's and Nike's or whatever. You know what I mean? But, like, I think, like, that's going to be the new wave of, like, big fashion for the next couple of years. Facts, because people are going to fuck with him more than them. Mm-hmm. They know they, he's been out there and the, talking to them. Mm-hmm. Me personally, that's why I like going to talk to people. Like, for instance, it'd probably be hard for me to do that in L.A., but in New York, it was easy. Yeah. I don't know. I L.A. Like- sucks. L.A. is just too, too, the politics are too hard out there. But I want to, I'm saying, me personally, I'll go Have to Have you the, been yet? Not yet. But me personally, I want to go, <laughs> go everywhere. But I know if they're like, you can't go to the certain hoods because just the way it is. But that's just L.A., I think people are like um, possessive of their territory over there. Oh, no, that's yeah. gay. No, I really think that's what it. <laughs> oh, that's if like, you're wearing red and the wrong color, you're gonna get no, killed. No, I don't even think it's that. I feel like it's like, like I want to go somewhere and I can still be me. I don't want to yeah. alter myself just because I might something might happen to me. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be me, but I'll shout out to LA. You're the, the, the least threatening there. person ever. Mm-hmm. Man, <laughs> like I'm not. Even, I'm trying to sell you some pants. God yeah. damn. I don't know the the history of what it is, but. One of my, uh, one of our cousins who was in the military in San Diego, he went to LA, LA one time and he had the number thirteen, uh, like a sticker on the back of his Tahoe, like the marathon, and he just had, or he he had always said, "I love the number 13. so he had the sticker on it. <laughs> he went to LA, they fucking bashed the his windows in because of that god man it's fucked up i give it to him they stand on business i yeah. used to have a I number guess. 13 <laughs> tattooed in here it's very very faint it's in white ink uh-huh. um but i remember before i got it tattooed the guy who tattooed it was like is this gang related or is this just spooky and i was like it's just spooky. ms 13 man yeah and i was like no it's just spooky he's like all right <laughs> he just went in <laughs> Yeah, I like to get a uh, collab with people like that. Uh, Sean Witherspoon, artists like that. Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot about that, dude. Um, he has badass shit. Um, a big brand would be dope because it'd be a, bo- a boost in business and I can help other people get put on. Like, something like a big brand, probably be like Timberlands or like a jean brand, like Levi's. Levi's, would you, would you do Carhartt? That. I'll do Carhartt. If I had to choose between Nike and Adidas, I'd probably go with. Yeah, that was, Be careful what you say. That was a tough one. I would have to meet the people for me to choose between that. I both respect both brands. Mm-hmm. Puma would be hard. One rocks with corn and Kanye, one doesn't. Just know that. All right, so I'm going to go with Puma. <laughs> Puma's are sick. Yeah, just I would, I would just like no to. Under Armour. <laughs> <laughs> Under Armour collab, that'd be crazy. They be trying to do some shit like that, it never pans out. <laughs> They so, failed on that end. Next yeah, year, Tech's going to be all Adidas out. No more Under Armour. Sure. Oh, yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. Right for the rest of their season. Yeah. Fuck you. You were in that <laughs> stupid-ass Texas jersey. I already now. told you I was wearing it. Uh, oh, I told you I was a nice-ass jersey. It was nice, Cedric right? Benson? Yeah, Cedric <laughs> Benson. It was a nice jersey. No, it wasn't. It Hell was yeah, those are hard to find I now. I want to get a Dallas Cowboys shit. jersey. I need to go to Izzy shop. I really, really want to get Hold on, hold on. We're going to get you one from Izzy. <laughs> we are. We need to yeah. get you one. But you w- wearing this fucking Texas shit <laughs> is not okay. <laughs> yeah, he, he liked it. Yeah. Oh, he, that was a badass jersey. Uh, five bu- I paid five bucks for that jersey. There you go. $5. Where'd you get that? Uh, All Luck Vintage. It was one of his $5 boxes. And he's got some good shit. No, I'm not going to lie. I think I got it from Izzy. 
I'm not mistaken. Mm-hmm. Shout out to sponsor the podcast. Yeah, shout out to Izzy. I think I got All it from right, Izzy. Cool. He got me this shirt. It was a badass jersey, though. I just liked it because it was fashionable for me. I want a white Dallas Cowboys oh. jersey. I might right. have one. I, have I want a closet. giant I think I might white have Dallas one. Cowboys jersey. I have like an f- outfit in my door. I might, that remind me, I might have to look at my clothes. I think I do have one. Like a giant one? Yeah, I think it's a Deion Sanders one. Yeah. I'm mistaken. Okay. I'll never show that I mean, one. I don't I don't care about no. Dallas, but I would <coughs> you would never see me wear anything Dallas. Why not? Cuz I right, cuz I look like a Dallas Cowboys like fan. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen my dad so disappointed in the Cowboys that he's changed out of his Cowboys shirt oh, during yeah. the game. I even have yeah. I even have I you saw the Steelers jersey. It was just badass. Cool, man. If only the Houston just, Oilers were still around. really burns me. It really just grinds my goddamn gears, man. You, who else was not fucking with it? The guy behind me. I forgot his name. He had the Chris. Crown, yeah. No, no, not him. His friend. He had the crown bottle. Pedro. Yeah, Pedro. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot he had that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, fuck, fuck the long words, dude. God damn it. Cedric I just, Honestly, I am always rep tech, but at the end of the day, any team that's in Texas is bringing that shit back. You know what I'm saying? Any championship, anything. Uh, bring it back to Texas. Uh, Texans are the only uh, professional team that doesn't have a championship now. No, dude. Like for when TCU was in a national championship, I was going for TCU. I but they're from Texas. Hate them. <laughs> my friend was my friend played on that team. Shout out to him. That's cool. I was in high school with him. Who was it? Blair Conrad. What position was he? Receiver. Really? He's bad. He was cold in high school. You're he a Mustang, team. aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. What year did you graduate? Nineteen. <laughs> Damn, too long ago. Damn, you're that young. I thought you were a little older. Damn, how old Eta was? Are you 21? I thought maybe like <laughs> you graduated in 2015 or 16, something. I'm 22. Damn, I you thought you were baby. a little older. Like, I thought I was going to have to edit the shit out of this it's podcast. That's not, not about how old you are, it's about how you carry yourself. No, nah, it's about <laughs> you drinking on the camera when you being <laughs> underage. Uh, <laughs> That's what I was talking about. I would have had a cup. Uh, I would have had a uh, igloo or something. Oh, uh, damn. Damn, I didn't know you were that young. Man, damn. I kind of feel old. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I thought you were closer to us. Uh-uh, he's young. I'm youngin. That's good, man. You still got a lot of years <laughs> to capitalize on this shit. I, don't know, I can't see myself old. It sounds weird, but I can't see myself old. Shit, me either. My birthday's on Friday. For real? That's what I was going to tell you. Come, happy, out, come out and have beer with me Friday. Happy early birthday. Oh, you're going to come out my birthday and drink you with get, me. You got to let me know when or where. Friday night. We, I don't know where. He's so. upset I'm not going to be here. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> Gotta go, like, gotta go see Leon. Who you like more, Leon or Gary Clark? I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't know who that is. I know Leon Bridges. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie on this. You're podcast. so cool. You're so cool. You do so much cool shit. Probably the best in love. It. But you wear a Texas Longhorn and you don't know who Gary Clark is. What the fuck? We gotta put you on game. That's what we gotta do. Put me on game. We, gotta, a, we gotta burn that jersey and we gotta put I'm you on game. I'm an open book, man. You like Charlie Crockett? Yeah, I'll put me on him. You and Joe put me on him. Thank God. Thank God. Yeah, I like, this guy's it, good. It's dope he hangs out with Leon Bridges, though. No, yeah, that's why I was asking. Cause oh, I, shit. His teeth are making me, uh, his teeth are funny. Not to judge him, but when he's saying this. Who, Charlie's? Yeah. I think he and he's veneers. always got those, like, chiclet teeth. Yeah. He's got, like, yeah. veneers in or something. Yeah, when we went to see him the first time, we were in the front row, and the whole time I was just like, damn, it was just teeth. Just all teeth. Was- Never been threatened by another man until we saw that man live. <laughs> I was like, this dude. He didn't take Jennifer. <laughs> that was at, uh, <laughs> Cook's. No, no, this was like at, some uh, at the Buddy Holly. The Buddy Holly before that front row. Oh damn! Oh my god! I think for Christmas I'm gonna get my parents little Joe tickets. Are they gonna Second be row in the middle of the pit. Is y'all's uh, music genre like kind of like, like wide? Oh, uh-uh, I have a shitty music taste. For real? It's just particular. They there's is out there. Mine's I'm all a, over I'm the place. I'm a combination of everything I've ever known. Like I try to give their shit a listen because you know we do conversation pit. Oh, yeah, you're subscribed to it. Uh, but I just, I, there's never a mood I'm in to listen to their music. Ever. Yeah. Ever. I think it's because, were you raised like that? Yeah. And that's probably why. Yeah. Because like, she was probably grew up on, like, on rock, country, rap, and Tejano. Dude, not well, even. I did. No? I, I did. I grew up oh, in for that. Real? Yeah. My, my dad was, like, the Hano only. Oh, the Hano only. Yeah, the Hollister. And oldies only. Yeah, the Hollister shirt on. No. Oh, no, <laughs> dude. Okay, so, like, that was, that was Richard. And my mom was like country, like George Strait, Brooks and Dunn, Alan Jackson, Travis Tritt, shit like that. And then she was like 80s rock and like Ambrosia and shit like that. And then 
they worked a lot and I was unsupervised at my grandpa's house and they had cables. So I was watching like MTV2 a lot and BET and VH1 and just soaking it all in. I was watching Sucker Free Sundays. I was watching Headbangers Ball, Rock Countdown, so TRL. Sucker Free Sunday. You do, yes, everything. That's why like I know like all the all shit I know. Yeah, for me, my dad, all these, there was some Tejano too, but like classic rock, the Eagles. My mom was all Prince and Michael Jackson, Madonna. That's what my mom and was. I was like, and I was a Pandora person before I was a Spotify person. So yeah. I was like just listening to radio and just always listening to just new shit. And like once I would get turned on to one thing, I would look up that station and then just. I used to always buy iTunes cards and just buy all my songs. Oh, hell yeah. I would yeah. do that too. I would just buy albums. I remember mm. those days. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was before like Apple Music and any of that. You <laughs> had to buy the like, whole album. Yeah. <laughs> but that's like how I used to, that's how I got into like Pantera and like Manson and shit like that. I would just be like, hmm, this album, <laughs> this album. But I also had two older brothers that, that opened up my library too. Um, Let me get one of those beers, please. Uh, what's it called? I was very Thank into you. Guitar Hero and Tony Hawk video games, so that Hell opened yeah. up even more. So I was pretty all over the place with it. You know what? Me and my mom used to listen to a lot. Casey and the Sunshine Band. Hmm? I've, I've fucking heard of the love band, it. but I've never even listened I to I love that guy. That's why I love you, it. You, you would know the, the music if you heard it. Get down tonight. Mm-hmm. I'm your boogeyman. How's it go? I don't know. <laughs> it's, I, I love and also, too. music videos used to be cool. Yeah, they did. Music videos used to be fucking cool, so that's how like it was like easy to get into shit. Thanks. What was your first concert? My first concert? Yeah. Like official one that I planned out and booked, like one I just like I would say the, it was yeah. a Larry June one. I was a Larry June concert. That was the only concert I really like went to like the other ones they were just like just went to it because yeah. it was there, like here. Yeah. But other than that, I went to Larry June concert and then I went to uh I went to a rock concert with my dad. We saw um, Molly Crew, Def Leppard, Poison, Joan nice. Jett. Nice. When? Uh, in Dallas, uh, like about a year ago. Damn. That's about ass. I got lucky because my mom was supposed to go, but she didn't want to go, so he took me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then it went, to, it went to Red Hot Chili Peppers concert after that. I want to see them. I wanted to go to they're that fucking concert. They're on my list. That's my favorite rock band, Red Hot Chili Peppers. Goddamn. We haven't done that much, but we used to get drunk and listen to they're them. They're badass. I got a friend who's in a cover band. They do quite a bit of songs on that. They're on my playlist on my phone. I think it's just the char- their characters. I'm a like big Anthony fan Kiedis, of Anthony Kiedis, he's badass. Flea, his character is cool. He was recently on Hot Ones. Did y'all watch that? I watched that. Mm-hmm. I like John Fushante, the guitar player. I think I just know, I just, me personally, I just know them like personally like he, that. He's like one of the best ever. Aside from John Mayer. The two best of our generation, anyways. But those are the only two concerts I kind of like. Just went to f- and planned out like that. I went to Larry June twice. Damn, dude, we gotta go see How Red is Hot he Chili live? Peppers. I know that was badass. I really like Larry June. I like to work out to Larry June. He's badass. I don't even know who that is. Yeah, it's pretty. He's good. from I, Texas, right? No, he's from the Bay Area. Oh, okay. I used, I used to try him out. He's like more like on the hustler positive side type shit. All right, brother. Healthy. I'm gonna have to use the restroom real quick. I gotta bad. go too. I'm gonna take a break. As soon as we love. Ooh, that was a night. That was a rough night. One thing I can't say, I do appreciate y'all for what y'all do. This is like badass to see like y'all like take this shit serious. You have to. And it's like do something you like and love, and y'all show up every time. It's like who knows where it can go? You know what I'm saying? Exactly. They might have y'all's own beer one day. The merch might take off. Hella soft. You might have a fucking skin someday. You never know. You know what I'm saying? I'll say my own beer. Is in the books. Imagine your own beer just fucking right it's there. In, it's in the ether that I've already put out there. My own beer. That'd be badass. My own Would sweet tea line. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna ask you what you're gonna call me. I don't know. You know that's the least like of my a, worries. A stone cold beer. Weren't you gonna call it like snake juice or something? Yeah, but that was from Parks and Rec. Snake juice. Snake pick be hard. Yeah, we gotta figure that out. We might have some issues with the name in the future. So we gotta yeah, figure I do appreciate, I appreciate what y'all do though. It's badass to yeah. see people in the community and take what they like doing doing it serious. You have to, dude. You have to. That's how you that's how you win. You half ass, you're gonna get half ass results. Yeah, nobody's if you don't take yourself seriously, nobody's gonna That's one thing I did learn. Yeah. 
every time. Every it's, piece it's of clothing, to, every podcast. It's all. That's all fuck with y'all because it's easy just to take bullshit in people. Yeah, that's why, mm. you know, you ask if anybody's bullshit. It's been a while since somebody's bullshitted us. I think that's because we're starting to take this shit a little bit more seriously. And, you know, last time you did this, you were 45 minutes late. But that's all right. I I, 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 <laughs> no, just kidding. I did better this time. You were the first one here. <clears throat> you beat my own two coast. Mm-hmm. I told myself today, I was like, I got to be here early this time. What were you doing today? Just work. I had been awesome orders. Is this your only job? Yeah. When did you take that leap? Uh, it's been like two years. Oh, you did? Yeah. I'm going on two years. This is going to be the second year. This is dope. And it's weird, though, every day. Like, yeah, you question yourself, like, that's really what I do every day. Are you pretty disciplined in what you do? Like, you have a schedule? Uh, I work from home, so if I'm home, I'll work, which I'm home all the time. So I don't ever just sit around and watch TV or fucking just be on my phone. I just... Why not? You're there. How many hours a day are you working? I don't even know, bro. Is a lot? I work until I go to sleep. Yeah. But I mean, I give like, for instance, like people want to watch a movie. I just work and watch a movie. I'm in the garage. And I just so it's like, it's like, if I'm going to be sitting, I'm going to be like working like, and yeah. sitting. So I can watch if I'm going to watch this movie, I'm going to be. Yeah. So like the bros or, you know, the lady, they if she's there, the time, they, yeah. they understand. My friends come, come in throughout my garage all, all day, bro. We're going to have to go check that out. I want to go see it. They just pull up, like, all throughout the week. They just sit on my... It's, I have a therapy couch. That's what I call it. They sit there and tell me their problems. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting there for sure, man. Shit happens. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, cut in. <laughs> oh, shit. Sometimes I'm like, hey, bro, cut this out for me. Damn. Yeah. We're going to have to no. go over there. Check it out. You can. How, so how long does it take you to do, like, one pair of shoes? Uh, Now I could probably do one in a day. Depending on the design, though. Like those a day. And are each one different than those the last? Those brown ones, that's probably like a day and a half, maybe two. Those are a day. Are are they each individually like their own thing or are they kind of similar? Well, if you want a certain design, they'll be similar, but at the end of the day, everything is going to be different because all the stitchings, every single stitch is not made by a machine, it's by me. The cutouts and everything. How'd you learn how to do all this? A trial and error, bro, honestly. Just trying shit out. Did you grow up messing around with that shit? Or? Uh, I was always into art. And as I got into high school, I moved into clothes. And I was heavy into fashion. I took fashion. I took the fashion design, but like... It's kind of gay. I, I was used... No, I wasn't gay. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it, was, it was actually cool. I had a fucking hundred in there. I was interested. Was that at the ATC? No, I was at Coronado. Oh, okay. And um, I didn't know how far you can go with it. Because everybody I knew had regular jobs and shit. Now I guess after this is school, and I ended up getting on social media, and I was like, "Fuck it, try it out." And the homie produced helped me, and uh, like just, just he just he just persuaded me and gave me the courage to say, "Fuck it, and start doing it." You run your own social media? Yeah. Hopefully one day I don't have to. Cause goddamn. That's what I'm saying. I don't want to be there. I don't want to do it anymore. It's cool though, like interacting with people. But at the end of the day, it's like. Editing the videos, posting, messaging people back. You need you need a manager. Is that what you need? I'm trying to get my little sister on board, but you and I both, brother. <laughs> Jesus. I guess they're worried about other things nowadays. How old is she? Fourteen. Oh, same. Mm. So <laughs> yeah, same, dude. I try to get my little cousin on this stuff. The one I bring around. Uh huh. I try to get him into this stuff. He's into it. So I like help help. I thought that was your brother. Cause he nah. he does. Fashion as well, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'll tell him, like, come over to Saturday, bro, and I'll, I'll tell him what to do. Like, he'll cut out some of the patches and stuff. Mm-hmm. Do you kind work. of, like, mentor him a little bit? Damn near. Yeah. Like, you come over, you just work on anything you want, bro, and just help just help me. Yeah. And I'll pay him, or I'll put him on a project or something, or he'll just help me out. Mm-hmm. Take him to New York? He has school. Yeah, I was talking to him about that. He has school. I said, fuck it, just leave, go. Yeah. But if I oh, if I didn't have to pay for someone else to go, I would have took him. It'd been a good experience for him. Yeah. I'm like, damn, you got a badass uncle not to scratch my own back, but <laughs> my uncle took me to New York. Goddamn. Shit. That's old as hell. <laughs> the guy I gave those to, he ended up dying. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> it's not funny. It's not funny. 
it was kind of crazy. She laughed at it. Said it dude. Okay, go, like, go to this post. The, <laughs> which one? The the one next to that one. I'm this one? sorry. Just yeah. the way you Damn, said it was just yeah. so fucking that like. Was, that was him. Who is it? The dude uh, named Lil Keen. He ended up dying. Lil what? Yeah, watch. Check it out. I met him. Though, look. What, what happened? Yo, OD. Jesus. He was supposed to. Oh, I was so pissed. I took those pictures. All right, so I went for my homie Ralph. He was he invited us to the concert, right? He's like, bro, come, bro, and help me record, and you give him some shoes. I was like, bet, you know what I'm saying? I'll help you out, and you help me out. And I went, bro, and then he was performing on stage. He had he had another show after that at some college party. And that outfit, go back to the outfit. I had to go piss, and the piss was in the dressing room. It, the he had a, he had his own fashion designer there or fashion stylist, and that's what he was supposed to wear. But he didn't end up wearing the shoes. Oh, I, guess. I thought you were going to say he OD'd that night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He ended up wearing the shoes, but that's what he was supposed to wear. He ended up wearing Air Force because they're more comfortable when he's performing. But I gave him to him, so they're, I don't know who has them now. It'd be dope to get him back, but at the end of the day... Oh, I can't speak ill of the dead. Never mind. If, at the end of the day, I mean... They always say never wear uh, dead man's boots. I can't say the same. I don't know about the same for shoes. I probably got dead man's boots on right now. I can use that flea market. Oh, well. Yeah. My mom makes fun of me. But yeah, he passed away like a month after. Some dude called me. He was like, bro, you know you just passed away? I'm like, damn, I didn't know. <laughs> damn. <laughs> R.I.P. R- no, for real. He was cool, yeah. though. Where was he from? I'm sorry. It was Atlanta. just the way he Atlanta. said it. What was his name? His tone Lil was Keed. just funny. Keen? Lil Keed. Keed. He's pretty cold. It's crazy how it happened because like, <coughs> I wasn't trying to, I'm not, a, I'm, not a, I'm not a fanboy person. I don't care how much money you have, how much followers you have. You just like me. You just got a little more than me. So we were in the dress. We were like, he pulled up and stuff, and um, and I was just with the videographers and stuff chilling. And he looked at me, and he was fucking my fit. He looked at me when like he like did that to me. He gave me a thumbs up. I was like, that's my that's my green light. Out of all the people he saw, he he saw me and did that. That's my green light. I went up to him. I introduced myself. I asked him what size shoe he wore. I had the exact same size shoe in my car. Went back, brought it to him. He showed love and did a little promo. That's all it takes, huh? It's not about what you know, it's about who you know. That's one thing I've been learning in life, man. And it's just stepping up and saying something, honestly. Mm-hmm. Being vocal. Yeah, you going yeah. back, huh, Bradley? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the shitty work. Hell, so was good. How do you feel about yeah, looking at your old stuff? I'm like, damn, people actually paid for that. <laughs> you That's gotta, dope, though. You gotta, you gotta start, start yeah. You gotta start somewhere. <laughs> there you go. But just seeing it is like how crazy how it elevated. And like how much uh, And so quick of time too How much uh, The quality of it has went up Those are what got me on the map though Honestly Those are st- I'm like those are still sick Yeah Those are what got me on the map No reason No reason I could do what I do Is because they can't find it They can't get it nowhere else I tell people all the time They ask you How'd you do it Scroll I, down I say literally bro All you have to do is Provide a service for somebody They can't get nowhere else And they'll get it They can't get it nowhere else They'll get it from you They can't get it nowhere else That's true they can, people can do something similar, but at the end of the day, they can't do it exactly like you. What would you oh, change about your shoes back then? Back just, then? Yeah, just quality? The paint was, the painting and all that was... Oh. Is that tape money? I was going to ask The painting if, was such an ass. Yeah, if you were drawing on them. Yeah, I was drawing and painting. But I used to look... What happened, what changed, because I used to scroll through Instagram to get inspiration. I used to be on there like, bro, there's so many people that do the exact same fucking thing as me. The exact same thing. So what's stopping someone from going to talk to them that have more followers and stuff and badass work than talking to me? So I I just sat back and figured out a way to create something that no one else could. And that's where the, all the patchwork stuff came. After that, I just dropped the paint. Oh, no more doing that? No. uh Are people starting to, like, copy you? There's inspiration. I don't knock them for doing it because I've got inspired by someone. Before oh, of me. course, yeah. It's actually dope as fuck. Like when people I like, bet, dude. like when certain people like tag me in the comments and be like, "He did it first. I'm like, I don't, I don't need to condone that. You know what I'm saying? I just hit that. It's not new it's, under the sun, huh? It's, it's live to see someone do something similar, and being being that person that inspires somebody else to do the exact same thing because I was in their shoes where I got inspired by somebody else. It's dope. Just take years and do it, make it their own. It's dope. Yeah, that's awesome. Now I just gotta make a whole business for a lifetime. Oof. <clears throat> Ain't that. It's the biggest goal. Ain't that the goal, huh? Yeah, you get lost in making money, but you gotta think long term on how to make that shit last. How can you feed your family? 
Exactly, dude. Yeah, you know, yeah, I got. It's I good you think no, about that. I don't have no kids, nothing, but I work every day. Like I have to provide for kids, because at the end of the day, you're gonna get older to have kids and a wife and extra family. You gotta pay for weddings, vacations, graduation. Oh, yeah, I gotta create a base. I gotta, I gotta create a base for to provide for all that. You want kids and a wife and all that? Hell yeah, that's what we on Earth for. Bingo. That's exactly what we on Earth for. I was here to make shoes, but today the main goal was to provide more life to this Earth. But they might be bigger than me. You ever think about the end of your life? End of my life? Yeah, it's kind of hard. To, I do. Like I said, I can't see myself old. I see myself dying before my mom and dad. It's weird to say that, which is bad to say that. I know. Hopefully, I don't. But I just can't, <laughs> I can't see my. You know what I'm saying? That's just how I see it. I used to be like that. Then I'm like, fuck that. I want to live a long time. I would be badass to live a long time. Like, imagine, like, in 10 years, they have something that you can take to make you live. For... It was weird when I was, like, your age. I was like, live fast, die young. Fuck it. Let me die young. Well, it's not even like live fast, die young. I think it's at the point where it's like, I got just thinking too deep about it. Like, damn, I don't want to try to go to my mom's funeral. My oh, funeral. I wasn't talking about all that, man. Yeah. I think too deep about this shit, bro. Like, way too deep. I think too far ahead. But you're, what you're creating now is you hope last Oh yeah. whole fucking I'll, lifetime? I'll just, bro, this is the beginning. <clears throat> I'm not going to do this shit forever. I'm going to have a whole business and people working for me. And you kind of want to, like, be a creative director? This is what's, this is, this is, I'm doing what I got to do right now to get me in the door to where I got to go. So you don't even like want to be hands on after a while. Hell no, I want to. I want to run the business and nice. help other people. I want to have more time to help other people. What do you think it takes to do that? Having, that's what I want to do having too. Having people work for you. Having some. I understand that. that, but like, you ever thought about like who you would want work for you? People like that the are just type like, of people. People that are just like me. Yeah. People that are just dedicated as much as me. It's just like fuck it. It's what I want to do. But then day you got to show them like you can take care of them though. Are you hopeful for the next generation of fashion? Yeah. Well, honestly, I'm going to be honest with you. I think fashion is kind of turning ghetto in a way, mm-hmm. in a good way. To where, like I said, it's like people like me are going to be bigger names in corporations. Mm-hmm. My culture it's kind of scary, though, because, okay, the other day, me and my friend were walking around in the mall, and I don't remember what store, but they had this, like, fucking, like, Chicano-inspired looking shirt. And it was like Forever 21 or something like that that had it. And I was just like, okay. That's what I was about to say. My culture's like, not your costume, man. Like, it's it, like, no, like we're like, we're for real about to see that shit, it's y'all. Not, like, and the it's, country about to be, shit? it's about to get tacky, the man. The country and all that shit? It's about to be like. It's about to get fucking tacky. Sucks. What it is that people are just, internet's taking over, so people are getting inspired by like. And I can't street, hate it. I don't even live that life. I don't. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, whatever people want to buy and spend their money on, it's all I them. can't hate it, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, it's gonna hurt to see it get cheapened. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. it's okay. gonna happen. Yeah, right. they, it already is happening. People that can only people that can like make the stuff to come up off it is people that come from that background, though. Mm-hmm. So it's like they they're providing for people that. But, yeah, it's a real interesting, weird world we live in because you, you have all that, but you can still spot like you should look up people. born raised. Oh, yeah. And I think you're one of them in Lubbock. You're one of On them. On Instagram. Like, yes. Or actually, you, you know what? Look up Ghetto Rodeo. Look up Ghetto Rodeo. Because if somebody like that's not about raised. it, or to wear the shit Jen's talking about, you you would be like, what the fuck? You could tell. I see this all the time, bro. It's weird. And you don't want to like be mean to them. and like. I don't know. I'll never be mean to them. It, but it's just like, what the fuck is going on? best thing I can do is help to guide them in the right direction. There you go. That's about it. Because honestly... You asked me for help, but I'm still trying to put myself in the right place. I tell some people, like, for instance, you live you live someone else's dream. Mm-hmm. Like, someone wants to start doing hair. Someone wants to start helping kids do what you do. Someone wants to start a podcast. You live somebody else's dream. At, yeah. um, at Fools and Goals, when I was doing pictures, I was taking Polaroids of these people and this girl, she ended up being a hairstylist and she was like, I want to do work like you and I don't have a fancy camera like you and I don't have a fancy background like you. And I was like, girl, you have a fucking iPhone. 
You have a fucking iPhone, find a white wall, and get that shit done. You know what I mean? I was like, take like 20 pictures. All the pictures and, like, on my head, from my iPhone. Yeah, and I'm like, girl, I just do hair. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? Like, that shit comes later. Yeah, like, find a white wall. Like, I just work there, and they have a fuck, they have a fake, a fake plant. I have an iPhone. You know what I mean? Like, no, we all live some. We live some. We live in someone. We live in someone's dream, and we live in. We want to. We see people that we look up to. Hell like, yeah! We, we want to live their dream one day. Hell yeah! She was over here gushing over me, and I'm like, girl, no. Let's just message me. I'll help you out. Like it's like no big deal. But she was just like so appreciative, and I was just like, bitch, no. Like come on, we're cool. Yeah. It's all about, it's all about perspective. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but is it's it? true. Like it's like, it is perspective because it's just like you. But it's good to have like that perspective as far as like goals you know what i mean and like people that you want to meet and people that you see that are like-minded that are above you almost so it's just like okay this is attainable i can do this for real yeah it's good to see this is dope what'd you call the internet the dark hole dark hole that's one of the beauties of the dark hole (laughs) you can meet all these people suck you in spit you out yeah so everything else i think everything else nowadays that's not the biggest though me personally, I think it's at the biggest. Because that's what people consume every day. Internet, social media. How would you feel <clears throat> in the future? We talk about, every time artists come on here, we talk about AI. What if they start doing a thing for AI where you could just put a shoe, like in some kind of 3D printer thing, and AI would just create the stitching and all that? How would you feel about that? I, I wouldn't care, honestly. Yeah. At the end of the day, people are going to want to... They fuck with you for you, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, for, I've met people that they just buy stuff from me because of who I am. I mean, the art's there, too, but they just fuck with me. Like, then I can buy stuff from a computer. Mm-hmm. And who knows? Who, if that did come around, God damn, I might have to hire the motherfucker. I was about to say, <laughs> that'd make your job a little bit easier. Make it cheaper. I was going to say, but that would be, like, mass producing that eventually become, like, fast fashion, so it would be super cheap. So yeah. super quality cheap. would be poor. Shitty. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just, like, it just wouldn't be on the same, like... It's full circle of life. the same caliber. I watched something. He, this, I watched this interview today over this guy who did Fashion Week in London, and this girl asked him, uh, how do you feel about AI possibly taking your job one day? He was just like, what are you saying? He said, basically just saying, like, I'm not worried about them because at the end of the day they can't they can't create they can't make what I make you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. For sure. Now I mean, whoever the fuck is in that computer, man. It's almost scary that AI could create full episodes of podcasts. Like, have you uh, seen like where Rogan's talking to Steve Jobs and like people that are dead, and it's like full on conversations <laughs> on what no, it what thinks yeah. on what it thinks that it would they would talk about. You know, I had this conversation with Dave about this and it's interesting you bring that up because some podcasters here in Lubbock that use it AI? to edit their shit and he was just telling me like it takes away like authenticity. Yeah, because then I was thinking about like what if I didn't edit, edit my episodes and we just did that? Like how special would this be? There always it be really a- wouldn't be that special no more. To me anyways. There would always be a lane for us, bro. Yeah. Because we're creative people. It's like when they say, like, they this grandpa gave them a, a a dirty old Rolex and they take it to the pawn shop and it's, like, worth less money. And then they take it to the jewelry, it's worth less money. You take it to the museum and it's worth, like, hundreds of thousands of dollars. It's all about who you put yourself around and how much people... You put yourself in the rooms that you're valued in. There's people that are going to want the AI shit, but there's people that are going to still pay for and support what you have going on because of you. So when you're trying to do create the brand, the name, Guap is it was it Guap did him? Is this no, what you're right now I'm working. Me and my homie are working on the whole brand. Yeah, yeah. I'm just taking calculated risks to put myself in the right direction instead of putting out bullshit. I'm not a half-assed person. I respect it. Yeah. What do you go by out there? Is it Guap Denim? Yeah, everybody. Ivan. <laughs> Take his Migo. Which people one? Is? Ask, people do ask me like, should I call you Ivan or Guap? But honestly, I don't care. So when they buy the shoe, though, who are they buying it's it? It's Guap. Because through my website, it says Guap. Unless I packaged it off personally, I'll put my full word, like, first and last name. When you're trying to create a brand? It's all you but surely. Like, what kind of brand? Just like Clothing brand? Head to toe? Everything. It's that time. What's your favorite piece of clothing? Um, just, like, to wear. Let's just say to wear. Right now? Because we all go through different stages, bro. I would say boots. 
Cowboy boots. boots? Cowboy boots and boots like Timberlands and shit. Kind of kind of ventured off on the sneakers. Still dope as hell though. I kind of like focus on the boots and shit. Would you ever make your own pair of boots? Yeah, I'm finna I'm finna release some this month. Uh, not not cowboy boots, oh. not yet. No, oh. I'm working on those right now. Yeah, I would say <laughs> not that. not those yet, but Timberland boots though, like heavy like winter boots those. But I am working on my own personal cowboy boot though. Just for you? Hell no. Oh, for everybody. There you go. Buy that up. Cowboy boots, belt, cowboy hat. Would you ever do something like that? Yeah, i would get in there. There you go. You so much life, dude. You got a lot to do. Yeah. That's what's exciting, huh? So I'm never rushing it, then. I tell myself, and I'm saying tomorrow's not promised, but if I do wake up tomorrow, I have another day to take that chance and just focus on one thing at a time. So when you wake up, what's like generally the first thing you do? What do you think about? Get dressed and go to work. <laughs> Seriously, just like that? It will answer like emails and DMs and shit like that. Or check on package tracking and all that, but. Other than that, just straight to the work. I was wondering what that noise was. What is it? It's out there. Just go straight to work all fucking day. Dang, if you work a holic and you work from home, you can work all the time. I love working. I don't know what the fuck I'd do if I didn't work. You constantly listen to music? Uh, I used to at first, but sometimes it kind of like... I listen to music every day. That's a, it has, Music has to be listened to every day. But at the end of the day, I watch, like, podcasts and movies. What's your favorite movie right now? Um, fuck. Probably either Scarface or Casino. I've never seen either. For real? God damn, Roy. You know what I'm doing right now? Oh. Uh, you remember when, uh, at the Hectic Fest when he gave me the mic? Mm-hmm. This is what I'm doing right now. They gave me that mic and it just... It just it just switched. I start asking random questions that pop up in my fucking head. Scarface and Casino right now. I love those mafia movies. Is that a Martin Scorsese movie? Yep. Casino. Casino is. is. Yeah. I don't know who produced Scar- uh, Scarface. It's I don't, I don't know what the name is. Martin Scorsese is badass. He just came out with a badass movie. I want to watch. Did you uh, watch it? The Flowers. Uh, Killing of the Flower Killers, Moon. Yeah, Killers of the Flower Moon. I want to watch that motherfucker so bad. Brandon Palmer. How old is that movie? 83? Scarface? I don't know why I thought it was 40 years. years. Me and Josh were quoting that whole movie on Halloween night. Oh my gosh, I know. (laughs) (laughs) His fake blood turned like white and it was peeling. I was all like, ugh. This is the guy that made Scarface, Brian De Palma. Mm -hmm. He's in Newark. That's right, he's still making money to this day off this movie. Especially all that merchandise that they do now. What's your favorite scary movie? Scary movie? Do you like scary movies? Oh, hell yeah. I kind of moved away from them because they got hella demonic. I was like, God damn, everything on one is fucking demonic as hell now. I know. I was was, like casually describing this movie I was watching last night to Roy. He was like, God damn. Like, what happened to the Jasons and Freddies and shit? (laughs) Now it's just fucking ghosts and possession. Hell yeah, you're right. Fuck that shit. Like, you bringing that bad juju into my house? Bro, we watched Exorcist. The new one? No, the old, the original. Oh my god! Okay, so uh, last month oh, there's a whole story behind this. <laughs> yes, last month we we were watching The Exorcist, and it was like barely barely starting or whatever. And I was like, just go ahead and press play because I was rolling a joint, and it's like it's like the TV, the couch, and like the dining room table behind the couch. And so like I'm like rolling this joint in the dining room table. He starts playing The Exorcist. And then Roy's keys are on the table, and I shit you not, I hear his keys get, like, grabbed. Yeah. I heard it, too. See? And it happened right next to me, and I was just like, Roy, your shit just jingled. Let me preface this by saying this. I had watched a Mr. Beast video right before. Oh, my God. The most saddest Mr. Beast video I've ever seen in my life. So my blood pressure... Was like literally. Roy stressed himself out I was over a Mr. Beast video. It was. It was the <laughs> mo- everybody in the comments. Agreed. That sounds like Roy. Everybody in the comments agreed this was the most like sad, stressful video of all time. So I was already like on edge. My blood pressure was up. I was sad. I, my my senses were just tingling. I was like, oh my god! And then this woman wants to watch the scariest movie ever made by humans. It was October, and we watched it. And then I, she said that I just ignored it. I just like I. Heard you did it. not ignore it. You were literally like, oh. I, I tried to go. Like, this is, 
<laughs> it's not happening right now. It's hard to watch movies like that from home because like, <sighs> yeah, I don't want to invite them into my house. Oh yeah. my god, I'm just casually. Well, and then, then I watched it, and then I hear a loud, loud ass noise from my kitchen. I'm like, what the hell was that? And I just continued watching it. Yeah, I'll be at home alone all day. I've come to realize that if I hear noise, don't acknowledge it. Never acknowledge yeah. it. Yeah. If you hear anything, don't even. I, I used saw to, so much shit. I just be. I used to be that dumbass. Be like, who's there? Even in my room, I'm asleep. <laughs> I hear someone be like, do I turn up, trying to turn up the music, put a podcast on or something to go to sleep. Cause I ain't finished sitting in this darkness. <laughs> uh, I saw Exorcist. My first time I seen the first Exorcist, I was a kid. My dad put it on. Mm-hmm. Want to see a scary movie? Put that bitch on. That yeah. is a terrifying movie to show I remember a child. as a kid, like, my mom, like, doing laundry, watching The Exorcist on TV. Because it was just on TV. And she wouldn't tell me to look away or anything. I was all, like, six, seven years old. <laughs> but now you watch it now, it's like, damn, it's kind of, like, soft. No, it's not. No, it's, no, it's, not. it's a really, it's, 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 like, psychological. It holds up. So? I think as an adult, it's more scarier. Because you understand it. think so? One of my favorite movies of all time is The Exorcist 3. That's a goat There's movie. There's three of them? That's a goat movie. There's so yeah. many of them. Number There's even the TV series. There's even a prequel. <laughs> Number three is the goat, dude. Like the prequel's favorite, good. I've never seen the prequel. It's Jeepers Creepers. I love that movie. I love that movie. <laughs> That's my favorite scary movie. I fucking love that movie. Jeepers Creepers. That was the first scary movie I ever saw. I watch I it every day. I can watch it every day. God, I love it. Except for the fucking new ones. The threes and the reborn. What the fuck? I didn't even I bother like to watch the I reborn. I don't had a budget for this movie. Did you watch oh, reborn? Did, did, yeah. Which one was the one where it was like the hand of it and That's they were three. all like, it was like. That's number three. <laughs> what the hell? It just, yeah. Who, I remember watching that and like. Who gave us the thumbs up? That's number three. I went to, to the to, theaters to, make to the watch film. that. Yeah. And I don't know why in my head it seemed like such a reach. I was like, this is so fucking lame. But I'm like, this is literally about a bat demon. And I'm like, why is it hard for me to believe a hand is Know your <laughs> secret. The reborn is even worse. I didn't even bother watching that, that one's one. even worse, Jen. Don't ever. Watch is that it. the one where the car is like haunted? Or no, no they that, just rebooted. The... They rebooted the series. Oh, so that's what that one the is. The reborn is the worst one of all. They rebooted because I'm gonna go find it. I bet it's on two. Because unfortunately, the guy's a pedophile, so they, yeah, re- yeah. they oh. restarted the whole series. But new people and it just didn't. The stick. CGI is even worse on that. The reborn one. No, I. <laughs> I'll check it out. I watched The Crow recently for the first time. Badass movie. Man, like- okay, it's really sad because okay, of course Brandon Lee died during the movie. Did his dad die in the movie set too? Um, Bruce? He, no. he passed away young, but I don't know if it was on a movie set. But that movie was supposed to take a whole different course. There was supposed to be a whole villain introduced, and he was supposed to have like it was supposed to be like this whole different storyline. Like a series, or did that one? Movie no, more? like just during the movie, like he was supposed to be like fighting this demon, I think like a scarecrow, not a scarecrow. It was something. It's a comic book, right? The Crow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's a badass. But movie. he was supposed to be like fighting like a whole ass like villain, yeah. and he yeah. died so early on in the filming that they had to essentially like work with what they had, and they used this guy, and they pretty much made him wear a mask of Brandon Lee's death mask. I just being that person. Yeah, and so they had to cut out a whole villain, yeah. and so now the movie is just. The, what they could put together. Isn't there some conspiracy behind Bruce Lee's death? Yeah. Um, well, even this movie. His son too. Well, because supposedly Bruce Lee, he was teaching martial arts, and supposedly the way they looked at it was like he was telling the Americans uh, China's secrets. So there could have been like an underground thing where they probably went after him because of that, and then they probably punished – because. Supposedly he was like cursed. There's a lot of weird shit uh, when he was a young kid. Like his parents would dress him up as a girl to trick whatever demon was after him. There's a lot of weird shit. And then supposedly he was cursed and it probably moved on to his firstborn. And then that's why they say he He, died. He died by a blank, right? Yeah. It was supposed to be a blank. But it was real. there ended up being an actual bullet lodged in the barrel. But the, and the blank pushed like that Alex bullet Baldwin out. Shit. But the thing, <laughs> yeah. is, but the yeah. thing about blanks is there's you still, still shrapnel. Still, if I were yeah. right here, you would die. Yeah. But mm-hmm. even like before they started filming the movie, the offices that they were like writing the fucking screenplay at, they got a voicemail, like a random voicemail that was like, "Don't make this movie." 
like do not make the this crow? movie Brandon Lee. yeah like the studios no, like their office else. studios before they even filmed they got a voicemail that was just pretty much telling them like it's going to be a bad thing if you make this movie there will be accidents um pretty much insinuating that it was going to be cursed yeah. i remember watching this on a shutter documentary yeah. but and they they went on with it they went on with it Mm-hmm. It's weird how and I think before then there was an accident also in the film set. It's it's weird how with Brandon Lee how they use like um like a mask. Mm-hmm. When his dad died, he died in the middle of a movie. They did the same thing for him, but they used a paper <laughs> like print. Wow. So that's in the movie. You could tell it's no not his Jesus. face, yeah. How did how did he die? Um there's a lot of weird. He was sick, wasn't he? Yeah. No. <laughs> wasn't it a heart attack? Or it was like it's something weird like that. It's never really been like proven why it, why it happened. Chuck Norris had said that supposedly he was taking these antibiotics and then he mixed it with the wrong medication, and then that's what led to it. But it's not. It's never really been cleared how he died. Yeah. But that's where all the conspiracy. Um, theorists come in but what's weird about during that time I guess when they did his autopsy um, he had hash he he ate a lot of hash back then and so at during the time this is when no one knew anything about marijuana yeah. and so they looked at that and were like see he was doing marijuana so that's what led to his death yeah. but for a couple years they had thought that was why he died yeah, they both died during making a movie, though. Would you take me to see Fist of Fury? Fist of Fury. Ah, dude, that was so cool. I'd never seen a Bruce Lee movie. For real? That was awesome. My dad put me on those movies. Fuck, dude, that was so awesome. One movie I like that he's in, partially. It's not really him, but <laughs> once upon a time in Hollywood. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so he died a cerebral... Edema? Edema. He says, says Lee died at the 32? age of 32 in Hong Kong. On July 20th, 73, under mysterious circumstances, the cause of death is unknown, although numerous uh, hypotheses have been proposed from the assassination by gangsters to the more recent suggestion in 2018 that he died from heat stroke. Huh. Yeah. But yeah, they say that they went after him. Yeah, he looks like they killed him. And the son, if possible. Probably. Yeah, no hose bars. <laughs> guess, what, guess what comes in the mail tomorrow? What? My nunchucks. For real? Oh, so, yeah. I'm about to learn how to play with those motherfuckers. I saw that your Instagram video. You <laughs> see that stupid <laughs> shit? Oh, man. My yeah. uh, Swagadelic's brother. Put you on? He had him. He's good. Yeah. He's doing all that weird fancy he shit. He was telling us a crazy story because they're actually like illegal to have. I'm I guess like real, real no, ones. No, they're not. No, they're not. Even the wood ones? No, they're not. No. <laughs> but no, like, I guess, like, if you have, like, legit, like, real ones, I guess he he got pulled over once and they saw he had them. And it was like, why you have these? These, these are uh, illegal. He's like, illegal? I work out with them. And, and they were like, you could do that. You, you know how to mess with these. And the cops told them, like, if you show us that you know how to do, uh, know how to play with this, we'll let you go. And on the video that you saw, he went did all this crazy shit and they let him go because of it. <laughs> yeah. Numchucks though. They're awesome. Like if you have like the real, real ones, like the, the hardwood ones, cause they'll like mess, they'll mess you up. Yeah. I know that. Just imagine just like metal, <laughs> metal swinging at you at that high velocity right there in the face. Fuck you up. I know that. Did you want, do you watch Star Wars? Any of those series? Mm. I guess you don't, you don't watch TV. Do you? I've watched, the closest thing I watched was Star Wars. I've seen episodes of it, like little pieces and parts of it, but I've only watched the new one where the guy Finn was in it. Oh, uh, yeah. The black guy. That's yeah, the, no. That's the newest one I've watched that was fully, I watched the full thing. So they did a series called Ahsoka. Did you watch that? Mm-mm. Well, there's a, I just, I just thought of this. There's a lady in there. She's an Asian lady. Her godfather was actually Bruce Lee. I just remembered that. Yeah. And she's over there doing. That did put me on 2001 Space Odyssey. Though. God, that movie's Oh, funny. you saw it? Hell yeah. Damn. What'd you think of it? Kind of weird. Wild movie, isn't it? It was wild, but kind of weird. Were you on substances when you did it? Yeah. When you watch it, I mean? No, uh, I think I should next time I watch it, though. <laughs> <laughs> Hot damn. That Why was... are the graphics so crazy in that motherfucker? Is it in that, what, 69? 
68. It was a year. It was a year before the moon, actual moon, if it happened, the moon landing. <laughs> it did, and, but they didn't. And, and it was nine years before Star Wars. That was trippy. It was a trippy movie. That's a wild movie. Jen was actually scared. Bro. It's intense. Roy in the middle of the movie, I was like, is this a scary movie? And he was like, no. And I was like, oh. Okay. It seemed like a scary movie, huh? It's intense. Like scary, it's sci fi. The, the score I was so tripped out when he was seeing himself and then he goes back and forth where he's gone and he's just old in the bed. In the fourth, he's in the fourth dimension. And he goes from the bed to the, another fucking dimension, I guess. Yeah. What the fuck? I was working at the time. I was working and watching this. I got bits and pieces. I think I need to sit down and actually watch the whole thing. If, yeah, if it's ever in theaters again, you need to watch it. Mm-hmm. Like, that's the way to watch what it. What a beautiful experience. Because... Uh, when it starts, there's like ten minutes of black screen and just well, intense. I, I kept just fucking. Oh, <laughs> did you? <laughs> I did He yeah. was like, "It's fucked up. It's buffering." <laughs> the ape shit. It yeah. was like basically describing the first weapon ever made, right? Oh, mm-hmm. well, they yeah, get that's enlightened. What, that's what I was wondering. I was like, "What's up with the apes?" Two of my favorite movie experiences ever is watching that one and watching No Country. Not uh, there will be blood. Have you seen... Um, God damn, that movie. The one that tripped me out, kind of like 2000 Space Odyssey, was uh, the one with uh, Matthew McConaughey. Interstellar. Yes, that one was trippy. That Basically scene where he's same. like where he's like in like the bookshelves yes. or whatever, uh, that makes me so anxious, dude. Like when certain things happen, what if like it's that person or somebody just telling you like... Mm-hmm. I love when uh, like guys like that go on Rogan and talk about shit like that. I'm surprised he hasn't been on Joe Rogan. Well, no, they, well, he has. But they try like real scientists try to explain that shit. It's fucking cool. Like, what's his name? Ned, uh, Ted, what's his name? DeGrasse? That name? guy sucks. You don't like him? No, DeGrasse Tyson. You don't like him? He's a bitch. Fuck him. <laughs> he sucks. Wow. <laughs> but when real scientists, he's not a real scientist, come on and talk about it. Shit's awesome. Like, just try to explain it. Like, and nobody knows. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. That's what happens when we die, by the way. <laughs> we we so? go somewhere else and do another. That was another trip. Fucking movie. Kinda, It kind of reminded me of 2000 Space Odyssey. Can you give me another beer, please, but the thing that tripped about 2000 Space Odyssey was the time period mm-hmm. and how graphic it was and the story behind it and all the information they had. I was like, what the fuck? This man in 60... 68. Yeah. Like, Jim, what did you say? He definitely filmed that. He he filmed the moon landing. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying we didn't go to the moon. But I believe, like, we went, but I think he filmed it. I think so. You want to get into it? I don't know why they would have posted that or why they would have, like, aired it genuinely live on TV. But if... If it was a feat to get on the moon, it was because it they, had to be even more difficult to be on the moon and then get footage of that happening. I think it was because we were, I think we, the U.S. found out other countries were trying to go to the moon, so we were trying to prove to them that we were there first. Oh no, we definitely went, but mm-hmm. we filmed it. We filmed it at a compound, and you know who owns that compound now? Jared Leto. That motherfucker owns that goddamn compound now. For some reason, huh? Just a weird, like, uh, like, if you know a little bit, like, this is like legit history, uh, like the hippie movement. Hit me. Hip hippie movement in the sixties. Oh, okay, 60s. the sixties, seventies. So they like created that. The CIA did to, to like, de- oh, yeah, to delegitimize shit. Were they testing people for acid stuff? And what's his fucking name? The guy I don't like, Jim Morrison. Mm-hmm. His daddy was like the leader of you all. You don't that. like the Doors? Nah, his dad was the. Like head of all that, own that compound, created all these guys. They all go out in the world and create music and art to delegitimize this anti-war movement. It's just fucking. It just gets deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. And the way the more you go, and then Jared Leto owns that shit. He's a fucking creep too. <laughs> he always gave me weird vibes. He's a fucking creep. He's got like a cult or whatever the fuck. My mom and dad used to watch Vice never I couldn't watch him. He gave me a weird vibes. You used to watch what? My mom and dad used to watch Jared Leto. So no. Oh, oh you talking about Jared Leto? Jared Leto. Jared Leto. Jared Leto. Jared Leto. Oh my, he don't. He don't not. He does he not age. <laughs> he's like me. what fifty something. You tell me. He was like he's twenty something. You when I saw me. him in the house of Gucci, I was like, who the hell is this? And I looked him up, and I was like, he's been in all these movies. He he's he was in Fight Club. He was an urban legend. That movie's from like nineteen ninety something. American the little Psycho. With Denzel Washington. Yeah, like he's just always kind of looked the same. Now he just looks he's a little. Fifty one. Fifty. Look at him. He's like he's just twenty. He's like Tom Cruise. No, he looks better oh than Tom my god. Cruise. No, Mor- he's Morbius like Tom was okay, so yeah, he's fucking bad. Tom Cruise in his fifties. 
Oh, you can see Tom Cruise aging nowadays. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's Bags. like Brad Pitt. Like Brad Pitt didn't age for the longest time, and then he finally kind of all of a sudden Brad did. Agent. Well, he went through a divorce. But this guy, he's <laughs> he went not through real. all that shit. That dude. Now he owns that. He was good in a uh, Joker, Midnight Mansion. What was that show called? Not uh, Haunted Mansion. The he new was, one. Yeah, he was I good. Watch it. I get that. He he was good in that. He always tripped me out. When I researched him, I was like, he's a 50 something. What the hell? Who's oh, yeah, he gets who's killed. Who's y'all's, y'all's top three actors of all time? Mm. Brad Pitt. J- uh, what was his name? Brad Pitt, number one. Who's number one? Daniel Day Lewis. Daniel Day Lewis. Will Smith's my number one. For real? I love Will Smith. Okay, I'll give you that. Aside from his bullshit that he's gone through. Will Smith, Daniel Day Lewis, and Jim Carrey. Just because I fucking love all the movies he does. I love him. Mm. Ryan Gosling. Because I really... What a female. No! (laughs) Fuck you! (laughs) Oh, shit. Um, No, because I love love Drive and The Place Beyond the Pines. Have you ever seen that? Mm -hmm. Place Beyond the Pines? Uh, Come on now, Jen. He did good in the Barbie. (laughs) Yeah, he did great in Barbie, but I'm saying that movie specifically... Uh, was it so uh, good. Remember the Titans? Mm-hmm. Who else? You get Vincent Price. Shout him. OG. Vincent Price. And I don't know. I don't know who the other one would be. Mm-hmm. Pick a lady. I, that's what I'm thinking of, but I, I don't know. What's her name? Jamie Lee Curtis? <laughs> sure. Mia Goth. There She's go. so cool. She's fucking cool. Crazy white woman. What about you, Brett? Hell, I don't know. I'm all over the place with that. Um, I do like me some John Wayne. Old school John Wayne. John Wayne was a Nazi. No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. <laughs> John Wayne was a Nazi. Either no, way, no, they probably wasn't. all were anyways. That's like, like saying, that's like saying Trump's a Nazi. Like to SS. Denzel. Denzel. Oh, yeah, sure. Who else? Um, I knew a girl who was Denzel Washington from Training Day for Halloween last year. Oh, oh yeah. Was so cool. <laughs> That's about as Honorable as mention, Clint Eastwood. A legend, for real. You better not say nothing bad about Clint Eastwood. He's still I don't, going. Know, I don't know anything bad what about him. was the last one, The Mule? No, yeah. The Mule. Uh, that was a crazy-ass movie. <coughs> he did one after that, right? He directed something. like one something. with the fucking rooster or some shit. He was like the grandpa on that hill. I'm not sure. You're not talking about Gran Torino, are you? No, no, no. That's a bad movie. Though. That's a yeah. badass movie. Mm-hmm. Badass movie. You can't make movies like that nowadays. Man, sure they could. Said the G word. God, <laughs> those words. I didn't know those were, bro. I didn't know that those were like words for for. I was like, for, what did you just say? People. I was like, holy oh, shit. That's like old man language. Really? He's funny. No, he's not. You talking about Scott Eastwood? <laughs> Scott yeah. Eastwood looks cool. just like his dad yeah. when he was young. He would have been a good Wolverine. Scott. Probably a good Wolverine. Clint Eastwood's a goat. Well, that motherfucker's like 90, still fucking and having kids. That's what grandpa, John Wayne and Clint Eastwood. If your grandpa didn't watch cowboy movies, what was he doing? He's not a Nazi. I think he was married to a Mexican lady. He's all American. I'm just talking about the MDC song. Oh. Um, I don't know who my third so one would be, American. though. You know how many Mexicans love fucking John Wayne? Man. I know. Everybody's always like, I love your John Wayne tattoo. And I'm like, thanks. It's George <laughs> Strait. <laughs> I'm just like, it's okay. I was a big Kevin Spacey fan, but he's a you, you can't say you're a fan he's anymore. He's fucking weird. Have you ever seen American Beauty? He touches And you ice. willingly like Kevin Spacey? Well, I mean, at the seven? time I did, but seven. not anymore. Is he in Seven? He is in That's Seven. Every time I think Kevin Spacey, I think Adam Sandler. Isn't he in the Adam Sandler movies? Kevin Spacey? The one that's no. in grown, up, grown Ups, right? No, I don't think so. No. That's uh, Kevin, oh, Kevin. Kevin James. James. <laughs> that damn meme. <laughs> Look up Kevin, Kevin Spacey. I never Spacey. understood that. I did not understand the Kevin James meme. I don't. This is the power of the internet, brother. My top three are Denzel, Al Pacino, and <laughs> it's hard between Robert De Niro and uh, Johnny Depp. Fuck Johnny Depp. Okay, Fuck so Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp in Blow. All but of his movies. The Window. 
Platoon? Come fuck. on. Man. Secret Window? Freddy Cougar? Even Freddy Cougar. Yeah. Like, fuck he, Johnny Depp. I know the movie sub, but Charlie Family. the Chocolate Cat. Have you seen The Professor? Tro- you gotta watch The Professor. It's a badass movie. What's that one where he's the gangster? Is it American Gangster? Edward Scissorhands. Uh, Black uh, Mass. I'm a worst talent. Black Dude. Mass That's is Whitey Bulger. insane. Where he plays Whitey Bulger. Black, Black, Black Mass is badass. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I would say... I would give it to Depp. Jack Sparrow, the greatest character ever. Come on now. I'm saying, how can Johnny Depp not be in your top three? <laughs> oh shit! How I think I judge actors of how versatile they can be. Hmm. When it comes to drama, being funny, and just like expression of just being an actor. I think Denzel, John- Johnny Depp, Al Pacino, De Niro. De Niro too. I, lo- I love Mr. Robert De Niro. <laughs> like to meet the Fockers, and then going from casinos <laughs> to meet the Fockers. Yeah. Like, what the hell? He's badass in the Killers of Fire Moon. But you know, you know who's building a good rep for themselves? Jake Gyllenhaal. I love him. Holy fuck! Yeah, Jake Gyllenhaal. Crazy Have you ever seen uh, Nightcrawler? I've, I've, no, That's a while. That was movie. The, the video photographer. The video. Or he's a video. Yeah, he works for like the news station. And he just goes out and records all these crashes and violence and shit. He definitely built a good rep for himself. Mm-hmm. What's the one about that serial killer? What's that one called? The serial killer. The nocturnal or. Uh, Oh shit! He's a famous dude. Famous, famous, famous dude. serial killer. I didn't Jake like. Gyllenhaal. I didn't. He was a serial killer. No, no, no. He was like he was trying to find the serial yeah. killer. I didn't like he was. Never oh, prisoners. No. no, no, prisoners. Prisoners. The girls that Zodiac. get kidnapped. Zodiac killer. Zodiac killer. Zodiac. Zodiac yeah. Dude. I didn't like it because they never found him. I think they recently tried to say they did, but I was pissed at the end of the movie. Like he never, he never fucking found them. Hmm. Did you watch that one about Ted Bundy? Shockingly evil. Zach Efron? Yeah. yeah. I'm waiting for the new The Claw to come out. Was that oh, Efron? yeah. The wrestler? That wrestler one. one. The Iron Claw. The Iron yeah. Claw. Yeah, the Iron Claw. You know what I'm waiting for? Napoleon. Dynamite? Ooh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. The movie Napoleon? Who's <laughs> playing him? Uh, Joaquin. Joaquin Phoenix. Joaquin Phoenix is playing we Napoleon? Joke. We don't joke about Napoleon. <laughs> <laughs> don't he's joke he's about as tall as me. Maybe even shorter. We don't joke about Napoleon in this house. He was as tall as me or short. What if it sucks? Ridley Scott doesn't make fucking shitty movies. For yeah, he does. How tall was Napoleon? <laughs> seven, five foot seven. <laughs> yeah, we're the same height. They created um, propaganda doing this. For Don't real? get me started on Napoleon. We're going to do a whole episode of Lords of Film over it. I'm waiting for a new Bill to come out. I don't give a fuck about that shit. He's a good actor, though. Michael Keaton? Michael Keaton. Let me see. Uh, oh, you suck. know who else is good at vers- versatile? The other Bruce Wayne, uh, Christian Bell. He's good at fucking changing his body oh, and shit. No facts. Christian Bell's been up there. Matthew McConaughey. Matthew McConaughey. <coughs> facts. The other white boy, what's his name? Leonardo DiCaprio. Throw that out there. He's good. That's why all that. We live in I'm a trying world. to think of some Mexican actors. I can't. We live in a world now where What's Brendan Fraser. Danny Trejo. Danny Trejo. He plays the same guy the whole time, though, but he's still he badass, does. but he plays the same guy. No, but that's why he's cool because he should. they're just like, you want to be here? He's like, okay. The guy that plays. Um, he just always plays some iteration the of guy himself. He plays off American Me and Stand and Deliver, the teacher. James, uh, uh, Edward Almost. James Almost. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's up there. I guess you'll give it to Lou Diamond Phillips. Yeah. Um. Uh, well, not lately now, because the named. Mexican actors, the girls have been coming up more than the guys. We have named zero <laughs> ladies this whole time. I know, What's his name that plays Bob in La Bamba? Lou Diamond Phillips. No, oh, the... Uh, Lou Diamond Phillips. I forgot his name. He's the villain in the latest Mission Impossible. For real? I thought that was kind of cool to see. The girl that plays Wednesday has been coming up. Jenna Ortega? Jenna Ortega. Yeah, she's been mm-hmm. a lot of act, high role actor movies. Mm-hmm. Selena Gomez. Adam... Movie. What's his name? Adam Driver? Yeah. A good one. Shout out him. Um, other actors I like is Ray Liotta, of course. R.I.P. Oh, R.I.P. Um, who else? Benicio del Toro. Mm. Yeah, why didn't we think of him? Was who's Javier B- so Bardem? Handsome, I mm-hmm. it. <laughs> Javier Bardem. Javier. Um, I forgot. You think Benicio del Toro is? It's okay. My sister thinks Steven Tyler is cute. <laughs> big ass, ass mouth at his exact age yeah now but Liv, have you seen that picture like, but Liv Tyler face, that's a different story as long as, long as you have this there's a, it's not, he posted like a selfie he's like you always have a place to sit with this face or something like that <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Steven Tyler <laughs> nasty ass. I saw that same picture and it said the, the cool mom that buys you alcohol <laughs> uh huh <laughs> Liv Tyler yeah 
<laughs> Shout out to her. Oh, yeah. She got big lips, too. Shout out to Matthew <laughs> Lillard, though. That's my boy. Matt Damon. Is that his name? Matt Damon's pretty dope. Sh- Sh- Scooby? Brandon. Brandon. Shaggy, sorry. He was in the new Five Nights That's at one. Freddy's movie. It's Brendan Fraser. Shout out. And I like The Mummy. It's cool. The well was all right. <laughs> the well was kind of sad. More like hard to look at. Yeah. Yeah. Just like seeing someone who's just full of gluttony. Willem Dafoe is pretty good too. Right. Who's that one girl? Robertson? Robert Pattinson. No, she's a female. Um, I forgot her name. Robertson. Was she in? I want to say she was. She might be on Mamma Mia. I forgot what she's in. Fuck. She plays like always plays like the mom or something. Uh, I'm trying to think what movie she'd be on. She's on Thirteen Going on the Thirty. Oh. Um, Anne Hathaway. Jennifer Garner. No, no, Jennifer Garner. Sorry. Jennifer Garner. Yeah, she's been around for a while. She still plays in key roles. I Have you her. seen her daughter? Looks just like her. For real. Mm-hmm. My favorite female actor of With all Benefit. time is uh, Salma Hayek. God damn, mm-hmm. she's beautiful to this Uma. day. Shout out to our favorite Uma Thurman. Actor. You know who she's dating or she's married to a billionaire. The guy that owns fucking Balenciaga. Who? The guy that owns Balenciaga. No, who's married Salma to Salma Hayek? Oh, I don't know. Them. You know he got two girls pregnant mm-hmm. in one year. I just saw that he got <laughs> her and another girl pregnant in one year, and he ended up marrying her. Al Pacino just had a kid at eighty nine. I know. He owes her child support. So did uh, Robert De Niro. For real? Yeah. One of them is paying child support now. I don't know which one. They're not shooting out dust yet? They're that old sperm. Out. That old They're unvaccinated sperm is loads. something else, <laughs> man. <laughs> All power Mick Jagger? Mick Jagger's having kids Holy at 80? fuck. God damn. Isn't it weird to see like how old they're getting and like those so icons might be gone someday? Good. They need to be done doing damn movies, man. No, I'm, talking about, time. I'm talking about Passed Away. Like, they're going to be gone someday. Like, yeah, they should fun. fucking quit doing movies. They're old as shit. Nah, The Irishman was a hit. I love The Irishman's movie. fucking... Amazing. I, the Ace movie. Deal, the Shout out to Joey Diaz. I remember my family one year for Christmas was like, put on a movie, and I was like, okay. And I put on The Irishman, and it was really fucking quiet. But me <laughs> and my dad were having the time of our lives none watching our, that shit. <laughs> none of my friends can get into all my mafia movies and yeah, stuff. Yeah, that's a good one. It's a long ass. T- it's a long ass movie too. We killed Jimmy Hoffa, man. There's a new uh, movie. The guy who paints houses. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Name okay, so that serial killer that I'm that I saw that thing on here in Lewis. No, the one from New York or whatever. I think they had some work with that Jimmy Hoffa person. Just depends on what story you believe. Because like you said in that movie. They called him the claw If they can the whack hook. the president, they can whack that dude. They definitely killed JFK. The mafia and then the, and the Cubans killed JFK. Amen. And his brother. Yeah. So they definitely, they probably hired that dude. They, and his son. <laughs> it's probably not hard to hire. A the only JFK dude. we got left is the. RFK Jr. Mr. Raspy. I like him. Nah, Hillary Clinton killed the. Don't be talking about that woman. <laughs> she, she killed JFK Jr. That was Bradley who said that. You think so? No, nah, he was because, fine. Because, yeah. because he and Hillary Clinton were in the rich. 90s were running for Senate in New York. And JFK was expected to blow the competition. Well, during that election, he went on a, uh, a plane ride in his own plane with his wife or girlfriend JFK at the or time. JFK Jr.? JFK Jr. They flew out into the ocean, never came back. Recently watched a documentary over the JFK. Did you ever listen to Tim Dillon? Um, I've never seen. I've tried seeing. I've um Hurricane right. Tim Dillon. He's a, he's the no comedian. He, he's a comedian. He's a podcast. He's a comedian. No. Uh-uh. Well, anyways, he did. <laughs> I, I, would have to, I would have to see his face. He did a podcast with RFK Jr. and it was wild as the power went out during the podcast, like forty minutes in, and after the po- like after that. RFK is like quiet. He's like, I do not want to talk right now. He was like visually shook. He was like, He's probably scared. He was. You could I tell. Might he get was assassinated like, here. He was just like, and, and even Tim was like, Dude, I'm so sorry. This has never happened before. There's so much hate for the Kennedys. It's crazy. 
It's because the Clintons are still alive. That's why. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> He's afraid of the Clintons. <laughs> we should be. <laughs> Fuck. They can kill those guys and kill us. No problem. They even got a hold of Obama. Was it the Clintons or the Bushes? It was the Bushes, huh? I don't know. You're going into some deep waters There's right some now. some stuff where like, Obama kind of grew up with the Bushes. Oh, apparently they're like family, six cousins yeah. or whatever. He's, he's got half white in him, so. Supposedly they grew up kind of close, though. But supposedly all the presidents have blood connected with each other. Except for Trump. Except Biden. for Trump. Nah, Trump's the only one. Yeah. That robot. Who, he's, Biden? He's like, he's funny as hell. Uh, he he's sucks. Better, he, I hate just to be patala. I hate to be political, but he can't. There's no way he's gonna win this next election. His approval rating's down. Whoever's, whoever's going up against him is definitely winning. Trump dog, my boy. Because they're not even voting for Biden. They're voting for the vice president. Basically, they're voting for Biden. Yeah, let's not go down these political roads. I have too many beers in me. I saw a video talking about apparently if you ask Alexa, what's going to be the results of the 2024 election um alexa would say that there will not be an election during that year because apparently with all the war shit going on there's some act, i can't think of what it's called but it's like some kind of war act where if we're like in like another like world war or something like that the president that's currently sitting will most likely stay in office during the time of crisis so there's no telling. Yeah. There's no telling what's going to happen it's if wild. we've been at wars. With no, presidents, but like and we were at World War II when the president shifted. So I don't know. But times are different. Well, with this act didn't pass until 1973. So bullshit, <laughs> bullshit, <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> Biden don't even know what's going on. Man, he's on vacation in Miami right now. <sighs> Anyways. On the beach. <laughs> well, we had a good time talking to you, man. I gotta pee again, so let's end this podcast. Gotta pee too. Uh, we can drink a few more beers if you want, but sure. you got any words for the people out there? Shit, man, just follow your follow your dreams and trust in yourself. Hope everybody else thinks, because at the end of the day, it's all up to you. Where you, where, where can they follow you at Guap Didum? Yeah. What's the website? Guapdidum dot com. There you go. Thank you, brother, for being here. God bless. Let's do it again, man. Shout out to the Snake Pit. Shout out to you, man. And Hella Hope we hope we have and you Bradley. coming on. Oh yeah. Back on soon. Brad, oh, you got anything? Deuces. What's up? Jennifer Hella Soft, all in one. Follow me at Hella Soft. Follow me at Texas Chainsaw Alchemist. And follow us at Lords of Film with the Z. Patreon.com slash Snake Pit Studios. Please hit that subscribe, man. Thank you guys. One dollar.